Hi, this is Pastor Deborah Curry here with Repairs of the Breach Broadcast Podcast. We praise God that you're taking the time to listen to me. And I pray that the words that I give you or the host words that come before you would enlighten, enhance, anoint everything God can allow for you to have. I pray that you receive. Good evening, audience. This is Pastor Deborah Curry here live at G Way Studio for Thinking Out Loud Network. We have an awesome, awesome show tonight, as I'm sure many of you all have saw the prior broadcast. And I have to correct things, and it's strange because many times I have to do it, so we don't have a problem. We want everyone to understand who we are going to have information coming from and how she's going to be able to help us and help you on getting your emotions right. That's how I like to see it, because many of us, we get out of hand in our emotions and not realizing we really do not have to allow this to be. And we can be in living in good peace, harmony, and joy. And I just tell, like I told my son, honey, I'm in happiness. Anyway, we're going to go further tonight. We're going to introduce our, you you already know my host. Gorgeous. Hey, wait a minute. Gorgeous. Because we got two gorgeous women, so we have to distinguish, okay? My gorgeous host, co-host, and she is Tamiko Drummond, known as the Brand Success Coach. Once you choose us, they will never stop talking about you. All right, now, okay. And then we have the beautiful guest tonight. Now, you see her name on there, and she's going to correct me, as I just told you I would do. But, yet yeah, she's going to introduce herself, and uh, you've heard me talk so much about the therapist. In fact, you heard her two weeks ago. She gave you a, just a teeny bit of information, but she's going to just overflow tonight. Like I said, it's not but, therapist Cynthia. Right. Nicole, <laughs> We're going to remove the word therapist yes, right, please, and I introduce Miss Nicole St. Cyr in the peace building. And, peace and blessings Amen. to all. Welcome. Right Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be on. Thank you so much for this opportunity to deep dive, I guess, more into mental health yes. and yes. to learn about my background. Um, as you know, I bought my brag book with me. So, all, right. all right. So you're not just she talk is the on talk. it. <laughs> you don't just talk the talk. People have to know that you know what you know and Amen. how you know. It. She's because like, here is like, proof. Yeah, that yeah. I went to school. I am. I do have a master's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm not. I mean, unfortunately, we have a lot of fakers out there. We yeah. have a lot of people who are actually consultants. Yes. And that's fine. And Uh you have your LLC and your license. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to mental health and community resources, you really can't direct people in the wrong way because it can be a hazard. Oh, my goodness. So I am not a therapist. I am a certified life coach. Okay. Again, my master's is in human services okay. with a minor in addictive behavior okay. therapy. Okay. Um, my undergrad is in criminal justice with a minor okay. in human services. Uh-huh. Um, I do work for the state um, Department of Human Services okay. as a case manager for adult protective services. I am not representing the agency in anywhere. We're just talking about my background and what information that I can And share. let's just repeat that. She is not representing <laughs> the state. <laughs> Nor... Am I representing a licensed clinical social worker or therapist? Now, I will be working on getting my um, certification as a practicing human service professional. Mm -hmm. That's where I can see people and I can charge them for my time instead of like my family that calls me for the information. Hello. Hello. (laughs) I love y'all, but y'all stop getting stuff. You're going to start paying. You're going to start paying. So. Um, and I think it's a great topic that we're talking about mental health, especially, you know, that we're starting to get out more from COVID. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're, it's an important thing to address, especially with crime and divorce and churches are starting to open back up. So right. everything works together. Yeah. Can we say that? You yeah. Know, um, so the topic today is struggles for the emotions. And I know that we're talking about mental health, right? Pastor, I believe that's what we're going to do. And so, um, just tell us, how did you get into the mental health field? Okay, um, you know how everything they say works together for the good of God. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I took. I was working with SAMHSA. I was a contractor, and there was an opportunity with the state of Maryland. What does SAMHSA mean? Um, Substance Abuse Mental Health Service Administration. Um, it's a federal agency. Um, if you need a grant, that's you go to for SAMHSA for mental health addiction also it's a great resource a lot of, it's part of the Department of Human Services mm-hmm. 
What were you gonna say? No, no, I have. Uh, and see, with me, I'm gonna take it deep. Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and that's, that's literally because yeah. you know why the reason I'm saying this. Okay. And not just throw. And when I said not to throw shade. Okay. Because I remember I was on a broadcast one time, and the young lady had a book she had given, and the brother probably remember. Okay. Uh -oh. Thank he's you. Like, he's, he's like no but comment. No, he but what happened? They misunderstood me. Because she was saying how she had come out of something, okay. I guess uh, abuse of a husband and all this, and that. and I more or less gave my test a brief, not even a good maybe five minutes up, but I said, how do you go through that when if you're strong, and then you're telling me, and I'm just giving analogies yes. of what I'm saying, okay. But they were offended because I was saying, no, I'm not saying you're timid and you're not ready to go forth to present what you feel you can tell someone. Exactly. But literally, understand me when I say this, if I, you would discern, if yes. someone's saying they're over something and yet you still see the effects of it. They're not really over it. Thank you. So that's no. more, and they don't but, understand. But I you know be, what? Was, you know what, Pastor? A lot of people do that. They would say, I'm over... You know, like I just healed myself from being being uh, molested <laughs> or abused. There's or no abused. way mm -mm. you need some therapy. Yeah, you need. Don't some therapy. you think so? Let me ask you this: the reason I'm saying it, you really don't if you really have a relationship with Christ, because He is the one that heals you. Literally, He's the one. If you know how to walk in the Spirit, mm -hmm. He will heal you. And so that was more or less what I was telling her. I this is some thing that would have took the average person out of here. Yeah, but ain't nobody as strong that, no, as Pastor. No, it, no, 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 <laughs> not no, everybody. It's a combination of faith, and I think that's where the disconnect Thank because right. everybody doesn't be, walk in they, faith like right. that way. And I think the other thing is it's a disconnection because people think counseling and mental health is a white issue. Yes, no, no, and right. it's not. It's it goes across economic, social, you know, races and. It you is. know, gender. I mean, there's a lot of trauma from childhood. There's Listen, just being black is trauma yeah. itself. How about okay, being a black, uh, black, black woman. I'm black a black man. man. You know, black. You know, I'm a veteran. Uh, right. I've been, you know, and there's also a... churches are realizing the importance now of addressing mental health, uh, also mm -hmm. domestic violence, because that has been a silent thing that churches would not talk about. Mm -hmm. And I think I mentioned in our, our last conversation that before people get married, are pastors actually really doing a good job assessing people before they get married? Are you asking the right questions? Are you asking, have you been any trauma? How are you going to handle the finances? Oh God, what if right. you have to take in your mother? How do you manage money? What mm -hmm. if your spouse goes on life support? What if your spouse loses their job? That's happened a lot during COVID. What if your spouse is, the big word now is narcissistic, but girl bipolar and you don't know they've never been diagnosed and everybody always said oh he's always been like that or she's always been like that or then, she's always been spoiled then people who have personality disorders yes, where they try to look like other yeah. people and, et cetera. and let's be honest as we as women go through our changes some mm -hmm. of us during our cycle period before you know we go through that big m we do switch off but i, I love sugar and i would i remember i was at a job <laughs> and i would say look there's four weeks in a month i got one good week is I this is, is, you is know this I have your to break week? In the it's it's like week. Week. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm you yes. can hear many giving their uh, their analogy of things, but yes. the one who's the neurosurgeon knows exactly what to get the understanding yes. of. But no, not saying that I'm uh, I'm uh, <coughs> negative to what you're saying. Yeah. No, but see, I'm looking at we're coming in the last days too much, depending on what men say, and they haven't even got deliverance. But and see, I'm seeing too much of that now, and we're depending too much on man, and man has not got their deliverance. That's yet. true. And but the word of God has always given us deliverance. But remember, These we the even, last days don't we've been talking and saying that people what was last week um uh, it was a uh, they he would remember they're <laughs> not the last topic, the last week yeah, but, topic. But, but they're not getting so, back to god so so okay. you know yes if you have that relationship and and can certainly intercede and really connect with god but there's a lot of people walking around that's claim, like that claim but they're claiming right yeah that they they have uh, whatever, I mean, but, they're, here's, but here's here's the it's not thing. true. Here's the right? thing. There have a lot been a lot of people who have been traumatized. Now, I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. But I have been involved with people that it took me a while to realize that the reason that their walk is challenged is because some kind of childhood trauma in the church. 
Ooh. So but that's been and, happening for that, but we have not been talking about it. We True. have not been addressing because it. Like you the got the stuff. person on the pulpit teaching you don't do it. Exactly. But, but no, then no, you still, the it's, it's a, it goes deeper. Mm -hmm. Again, you have people that don't even have deliverance trying to teach me something you have not absorbed yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So what we need to understand because yeah. it's almost like man trying to put Jesus back on the shelf is only just a savior. Right. No, no, yeah. You, you have, have to have, deliver. Right. Yes, you right. You have to have a True. personal relationship. I told you. Personal relationship. And you, you have to remember that pastor is not God. And we, unfortunately, a lot of people put those pastors on a on that pedestal, pedestal yes. that they should not. And that exactly. pastor has to un understand. He's sometimes needed. He needs counseling. And right. He I mean, I've heard as a, Yeah. Right. You know, and they go through but their But again, trauma. we're still not taking it back to the deliverer. He's not a respecter of person. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. Yes. What's Amen. the problem, though? You're looking yeah. in the man, and you're looking at man, yeah. the knowledge that man taught man, and they don't even understand. This book right here, well, I don't have it right here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was going to say, but, but, but look but, up the app. Did you want to look for something? No, no, that's okay. okay. But I was that's also okay. going to say that God said he had the 12, Jesus had 12 disciples. Yes, exactly. So he knew that he could not do it all by himself. Right. And there are certain things. That's not what he meant, had meant with the 12 disciples. Well, he went out to spread the word. Well, I'm just saying. That's not he, what he meant well, with the 12 disciples. Yeah. Well, what did he mean with the 12 disciples? What are you saying? Why did he call the 12 disciples? I don't know. I'm, you tell me. He, he was said. going back to heaven. He yes. sent those one that had been established and anointed to preach what he had already poured into him. Okay. okay. But if you don't have what you need to pour into somebody else, because I've seen too many people trying to minister to somebody else. And, then and they, they don't go, got it. Yeah, but they're yes. empty. Yes. You they can't pour into a broken right? vessel. They need their yeah. You cannot pour into a broken vessel. And you, have to, and you have to have empathy. Like, I can't expect somebody who has never experienced death to comfort me. Girl, say oh, who has never okay. I can't but where somebody that from? Who, where you get I, that from? Is it I in get, the word though? I get it from me because I, See, I that's what I'm saying again. That is your prerogative. Yeah, your that's my yeah, that's my that's perspective. Exactly, but that's not what the word saying. Look at Paul. Paul was a master book writer, and guess what? He didn't get ever get married. But he mm -hmm. taught how to walk the walk according to celibacy. He chose. That's why God said, choose ye this day whom you will serve. If I be God, choose me. I'm going to bring you forth and deliver. But if your God be the things that you believe in, the ideal, how to idolize, because mm -hmm. that's the problem with people. We idolize too much. True. We don't know God. So we all might go in the book, and I'm going to have to say it. I don't have it right here, but I'll tell you. <laughs> we go in the book, and we sit behind the man, maybe four years. I know it was a paralegal. I went three years. Okay. And then if I wanted to become a, an attorney, I would go four more years. And then get into the internship of it in order to adapt my bar. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Okay, you know what? I sit here and went before God, and I now, if I was to get a, my six digit bar, I could eat some people up in the court and I would of win. Course, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. But people got to, uh, uh, if you notice what I'm saying, they have this mentality to feel, and I'm going to say it like I feel it. Black people is bit up on this degree for some reason. You talking to the deal, and my son had a big laugh of it. He said we was in this school class one day, and said the teacher, the professor, was talking, and he asked her one question, and said uh, everybody else didn't laugh. He said, "But I had to, Mama, because I didn't understand where she was coming from." She, she said, "I know how to run this machine." She said, "Cause I got my my degree." Yeah, degree. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. Though. Yeah, I would have looked at her like she was mental. Because I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, the man showing us how to run something. And she said, but I, I know how to do it because they were saying, who can do this? Mm -hmm. She picked up a card and I got my degree. Yeah, that's, now listen, that's look, look, guess sense. what the professor did? What? Because I guess he felt it. Mm -hmm. He said, come on up here and show me how to do it. Woo! Put her and on you the know spot. What? She looks like a fool. Right. But see, yeah, it's, I, but it's, yeah. black people have a, I mean, they have, oh my God. It's, but it's yeah. not, I wouldn't but say it's just so, black people. No, no I, think I wouldn't say you, it's, 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 it's a lot. Everybody with degrees from the top all the way to the bottom. Back it's, in the old days, they didn't do that. I'm serious. But because if you notice, everybody who's running the country now never had degrees. Right, right. Where it's before, needed now. And there's yeah, a lot of billion millionaires that do not, not have, have degrees. degrees. Yeah. But, yeah, but I say just the like. the little black girl here, but you know what? She just got her, I don't even think she got a GED. Wow. Yeah, everybody but, has different discernment and, and different it, purpose. And it but just it, depends. But, but man feel there's somebody with their degree and they're, they're not. Do you understand that? We, I understand we're talking what about you're saying. We're talking, we're, about, we're talking about mental, but, yeah, that's but technically, if you go to somebody, and I'm, I'm going to start off with how I started off, okay? Mm -hmm. I used to work for the public defender's office, and what it came out of, it was a pilot project out of New York. 
And what they realized was a lot of the criminal justice clients, especially the juveniles, in order to stop them becoming adult offenders were to address their social, their mental, their economic needs. So if a kid is stealing food from a store mm -hmm. because the mom is out and there's no structure in the home, then you have to find out, okay, do we need to do a food bank? Do we have to connect them with the church? What do we have to do so they don't become a violent offender? You and I both know that the crime rate is getting ridiculous here in Atlanta, you know, Florida, um, Chicago. George Floyd. You know, um, George Floyd. I mean, but we have to find out what is going on in the home. So I kind of stepped into this uh position, yes, as a paralegal, but I was a community resource. And what I realized, there were a lot of things going on in the home. And these kids were looking for attention. And the kids who were violent, they found out it was due to maybe they got hit in the head due to traumatic brain wow. injury, um, maybe how the parents talked to them. Nobody taught them how to be parents. So they were angry. So what I also learned and what I did my final paper on was about women going to prison. Mm -hmm. We always talk about men going to prison. But we cannot assess men the same way we assess women. Right. Because a lot of times women have been abused, either me um, physically, mentally, um, financially. So when a woman goes to prison, heaven forbid if she has a kid, economically, that puts her back like two or three steps. Mm -hmm. Then you have grandma, auntie has to raise that child. Right. Okay, If she was on public housing, any kind of government assistance, that's out. So how do you prepare this woman when she gets out who, whatever crime she did, nine times out of ten, she did it for a guy. Now, you do have that 1% mm -hmm. that they want to be, you know, bold and they want to do what they want to do to get that rep. If they're selling their body, if it's human trafficking, right. what happened? Were they sexually molested and it was never addressed as a child? And mm -hmm. that's where you do need that licensed professional and that faith-based professional. And now we're realizing it is merging. Right. I'm not saying degrees because there are a lot of people with degrees that are leading people astray. I and mean, I'm not bad that lawyers, bright. I, you know, Trust me, yeah. Yeah, you know, you but, go to a bad restaurant, you went to a, sh a chef that exactly. went to culinary school, and he can't cook, and you got grandma who can barely read, she can make a, the best macaroni and cheese in the world. Right. Because I think it's it's more of an, it's an ego problem when someone comes first with their degree, because that's all they have. Exactly. It's, but it's like yeah, ego. Yeah. But why is it, okay, with all these degrees flying around here, and I'm saying flying because they're everywhere, all over the place, why is the crime and stuff getting bad and worse? That don't have anything to do with the people that have degrees. I, think it ha I don't think it has to do with degrees. I think it has to do with family and it has to do with spiritual warfare. There's oh. a lot of spiritual, there is a lot of anger. Yes. There's a lot of resentment. Oh, wow. Yes. Because people are not talking. And think about it. Thank For the last year saying. and a half, people have, people have, people have been in the house. Mm -hmm. And I just had this conversation with a girlfriend. Think about it. If two people have been married five, ten years, right? What was the norm? You get up Monday go to through Friday, work. you go to work. Right. You might have dinner two or three times if you have kids, okay? So Monday through Friday, you're hardly seeing each other. Mm -hmm. You're passing like two ships. Right. What do you do on Saturday? Get hair done. He cuts the grass. Right. Run errands. Kids may have their softball, baseball, football, whatever. Sunday, if they go to church, okay? And then you do that over and over again. Right. For the last year and a half, there guess were what? There force. To you're spend forced time to together with that person, and you're forced to deal with things that you were letting pass by. Right. A lot of people have found out that their mates were cheating. Right. A lot of people found out people were having other accounts. Yeah. A lot of people are seeing that. Hey, that teacher was complaining about little Michael or Jenny or whatever. Guess what? She do. She don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. She don't um, listen. Mm -hmm. She is disrespectful. Yes. She can't read. Right. Yeah, whose fault is that? That's going the parents. back to the home. That's mm -hmm. going back to the home. And a lot of we're put, putting a lot, I think a lot of people are now seeing what teachers are going through. Right. Because a lot of parents would say, well, I send my child to school, she should read. No, no. You as the parent, how many times have you bought a book instead of spending $150 on some Jordans? Right. Exactly. You should be buying your child books. You should be reviewing and their homework. And spending time, spend making time. sure and that see, they, right. And, and then see how your child reacts when you tell them no. Right. We have a generation now who does not like telling their children no because their parents why, There's a reason because their that. parents told them no because of a, it goes deeper than that. Yeah, it's it goes. Finished. But here's the thing: a lot of people are making more money, mm -hmm. degree or not. I have people who make more money, even though with me with, with having no, a degree, right. but they have nothing to show because they're they're so caught in material wealth and material happiness. Let them lose that job, or you know, as society has shown it, they're not getting unemployment. What would they do? Can they live in that four hundred thousand dollar house? Can they ride that Mercedes Benz? Mm -mm. If it's all tied up, and you see it all the time on Instagram, 
people like to show what they have, right. but it's not who they are. Exactly. And if they are not having that to society. Part of it's Social internal. media promotes <laughs> having the best. It, and it does. And, and then you does. have to limit but yourself. Look. But see, it's, it's, like, it's to me, it's almost like a spirit. And we've talked it about is. this before. All it is, is it a is spirit. spirit cause when exactly. they get it, they just want to show themselves all the time. And it's a pompous spirit where they're mean, always. In fact, when you have strangers sitting there saying, why are they looking at each other? All right. They're in front of a mirror looking at each other. Yeah. And I'm like. <laughs> What? Look, they're, they're out to dinner and no one's no, talking. And everybody is talking. Yeah. You know what? And that's the thing. We don't talk. We don't have conversations. Converse, you know, back in the day, conversations. Back in the day, I remember as a little girl how, you know, if you had people over for dinner, they would talk about politics. Mm -hmm. they would, now, you know, since the last administration, that shall not be named, they get upset. You see how people behave. You know, I just think it's important to vote. And not just vote in the regular elections or the primary. All of them. But They're so important. what's on your school board? Right. What's, what's getting involved? What the roads? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't take, you know, a race divide for people to say, well, let me go out and vote. Or to be told, you're not going to be able to vote. Why are you not more involved in your community? Why right. do you don't have more? You want more libraries, but you don't go. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want more funding. You wonder, okay, why does Cobb get more money? Okay, we're gonna look at economics. Let's be honest. They're gonna they're gonna look at where the funding goes. Exactly. How involved are you in your community? What are yeah. the big churches doing? Right. You know, are they? I I don't want a politician coming to to my church when it's election time mm -hmm. to say, uh, you know, hey, we know you live in a community. Right. And I'm no. Right. What are you doing? When the, you know, we need the new road. Exactly. You know, what are you doing for crime? What are you doing for recreation? What are you doing about protecting um, seniors and housing and addressing hunger? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that we need to hold them accountable. And we're not. I, I hate to say it. They come, they give you the good talk. Hope you get your vote. I'm out. Deuces. Till next time. <laughs> I mean, so why do you think people are not talking? Because, yeah, families hold back and they hide molestation. You, Everything. They you hide the everything. No one talks about it. About? Because back in the day, it was like, whatever happens in this house, what? Stays, stays in this, in this house. house. Right. it's not good. Or they did not want to ruin the reputation. I will tell you, I had a family member who had a pastor. Now, pastors are supposed to get screened, right? Background <laughs> check, criminal check. like Just like you're working in school. Okay. Let, let me tell you. No, I, you just I, thought I got to write I, something I, down. Got, Go ahead. No, okay. <laughs> so... You know, preaching the word or whatever. So there was an allegation that this pastor molested. Everybody was taking the side of the pastor, not the victim. But that happens with mothers with their daughters yes, and their boyfriends. boyfriends. And I don't understand sons, how you don't husbands, know somebody and letting somebody move in, in a month. Because a they cover, they hide it. Regardless, they could have known the person for for a while. Yes. And and still, if listen and background checks. Don't mean that no, you, you know me. they're guilty because there's people getting away that have gotten away with stuff yeah, for years. and they are perverts. Yes. They're out there praying, manipulating yes. women, you have people men, etc. And people know Uncle Ex So and So. Don't don't don't, don't don't leave so and so with Thank exactly. You. Or let's just not invite him. Now it's getting to the point where they right. can say, well, let's not invite him. Yeah, because we know. You know what I'm saying? But no one ever stopped to tell Why Uncle don't they So and So stop, it? stop doing that because. I don't know if it was a fear, and it shouldn't be a fear. It you know what I'm saying? It should not be a Who's fear. Is that? I'm hearing I don't, this. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's society. I think it's us as a generation, yes. as a family, and really we need dealing, to talk, talk about yes. it. And, and that's why and there's so much happens, So we could cry loud. Exactly. Exactly like the word, but if something is going on not right, cry loud. Did you understand my Yes, yeah, because everyone is growing up with trauma. That's yes. At it, some point. Everyone and, has and then some level of trauma. Over and people are like, then they're shocked and they're here. Oh my God, so and so um, killed their spouse or Flipped beat or out. flipped. Yes. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I know this is not funny, Lord, forgive me, but what I'm about to say. So, my first incident of domestic violence, mm -hmm. we lived again in New York and we had a neighbor. I didn't know that her husband beat her, but right. I think my mom knew. And one morning, um, he was banging on the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, and he's like telling my mom, help, help, help. You know, so we're thinking something happened to her. Right. And um, he's bleeding. Yeah, she was She was him. like. Exactly. When my mom went to, you know, if he's bleeding, she's like, okay, what happened to the wife? Mm-hmm. When she went over there, she, and I, I, you know, you're a child. You know, the things that you remember are of very course. clear. And I rem remember hearing her say, I got tired of him hitting me. 
But and she hit him. She you know snapped. how when he has a thing with right. the frying pan? That was the day. And do you know he never hit her from that? They're both gone. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I'm wondering, like, we talk about the church. And I don't know if they were religious, you know, because back then I was Catholic. Nothing right. against the Catholic. <laughs> but um, I don't know if us knowing was enough. I don't know if my mom ever talked to her. I, but I knew my mom didn't take anybody hitting on her. You know, right. I was raised with a stepdad. Um, I don't think my dad ever hit my mom. They weren't together. But the thing about it is, is I remember clearly her strength right. as a woman. And she had little children. I know one of her children became a doctor, whatever. But she, it, I... I don't know if it was just the tide of being used as, you know, they weren't like the most attractive bag. people. Right. It was just the fact of being devalued. Of and course. And, and I think, I think, but think about it. It could. How many women have you heard that because they finally couldn't take it have end up killing that spouse? Of course. That's because they asked for help. That's exactly and it's not even just, it's not even just being abused by someone hitting you. It happens if your your husband cheated on you, whatever, then you get in another relation, you find that out, oh, you'll play a little Ryan, but if then it but, hits you one day, and then next thing you know, you're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah because it's, it's, a, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. But, but here's the thing that we don't talk about, and I will say a close family member said that. She's like, why isn't there not like a class to prepare you? And there shouldn't be a class, it should be inside the house, but here's the thing. It's not physical abuse. It's not just verbal abuse. It's mental abuse. Emotional. It's emotional. <laughs> yes. It's financial. All of that. It's oh my God, the struggle. And, and it's yeah. the struggle. And here's the Balled thing. up in one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who would I, not erupt at some given point? Because yeah, it only takes that one trigger. But think right? about what you're saying. And you, if, I don't know if you probably heard before when I was telling you about my testimony. And this young man, I say young man, and it's not old or whatever, but mm -hmm. I just say young man because I give me a respect. Okay. But no, I was sitting there and I was giving my testimony as being a safe child because I gave my life to the Lord when I was 16 going on 17. Mm -hmm. But I learned from my dad. And even though he was uh, went on to be with the Lord right around the time Martin Luther King passed away too. Mm -hmm. But I always stayed with my dad because I was just impressed. Never knowing anything about no domestic violence or nothing. But I always watched my dad and he respected my mom. Now, we know, uh, and I'm saying it just like this, mm -hmm. <laughs> and as family, you know I know a little bit more than y'all, even though I be quiet. <laughs> but the point of it is, is that I watched my dad all the time, and he respected my mom. But I remember this. Now, think about a six-year-old child remembering this if I ain't remember nothing else. Mm -hmm. He said, daughter, he said, if I'm going on to be with God, he said, I'm your father. And now, this is how impressed I was with this. He said, if a man... Ever, when you marry, it's a six-year-old child now, mm -hmm. if you ever marry a man and he choose to hit on you, the one lick, you out that door for good. Mm -hmm. Do you not know it kept me consistent and establishing myself and my worth? Because you know what? I was married to a man. Now, it was church people that caused him to be jealous because I traveled a lot as an evangelist all mm -hmm. around everywhere at a younger age. But when he sat there and struck me, I heard daddy's voice as close as, I mean, loud as a, mm -hmm. talking. And I sit back and I heard him just as clear said, he's not your father. You have one father on this earth other than God. God, mm -hmm. yes. And if he ever hits you, out of there. Right. Oh. And do you not know something intricately clicked? And, and I looked at him, respected him, but I said, that's it. Right. Yeah. And even now, listen, that's strange how it is, but see, it's about women. And I tell my my, uh, my ex-husband, mm -hmm. I said, your daughter, Abriel, needed that. Even though we departed uh, and separated at an early age, mm -hmm. you need to sit here and be calling your daughters, encouraging them who they are, feeding into them, giving into them, and telling them, do not ever let a man disrespect you. Understand your worth. They're you broken because the I've and seen people exactly. say, know your worth, queen. You have, you have to know and they worth. don't know they their don't worth. They don't know their worth. They and don't. even though they were in, in a household where they didn't witness any domestic no, violence, uh -huh. but it's this thing of you need to be in a relationship. Do you know loneliness is not the absence of it's people? Not. Right. It's people not. And you have to heal. You have to <laughs> 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 loneliness is not the absence of people. It's right. Loneliness when you look at it, you could be in a room full. You could be in a stadium. And still feel lonely. And feel, feel yes. lonely. But, but no, the thing about, about it, think about it. But what you, what you mentioned earlier is about Instagram where, oh, I'm at this party or I'm at this event or I'm... 
the most peaceful thing is when you're by yourself. All right. And you just have, it's, it's not about how much money you got in bank. You can Thank have like you. a dollar to your name. Right. But knowing that peace you're safe, of mind. peace of mind, oh there's God. no amount of money and self-worth. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And a lot of people think, oh, if you're not in a relationship. No, there's there's this thing. You Here's the, the mistake I think a lot of people make. Mm -hmm. You don't get married to have the person there fulfill you. You, you right. have to be fulfilled already. And already. You have to it's have your needs and desires. Two holes becoming one. That's it. Okay, you have, you know, you support each other in the interest. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I'm saying? I've been married, I've been divorced, and I will tell anyone, number one, don't get married at 21. No, two. I can it's tell you that. Now. Tell. No, it's not about age because you know what? Well, for Jesus, some, no, for no, some no, it is. Think about it. Okay. Rachel. And uh, you saw wasn't they? It? They were in, and that's another time. time. No, no, yeah, but I'm just saying. So yeah. you want to separate God? But, God okay, no, never... no, okay. I'm, I'm gonna say for now, if you're not mature intellect, like, mentally you, and mature. Not, okay, now some people can be very mature. Now uh, let's put it this way. You, for me, you I was with. First. You yeah, mature, I was, I was mature at 21. But what I'm saying is, my partner, when I look, right, you know what I'm saying, and I, we we went and got counseling twice. That ain't about that. Yeah, but, 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 yeah. You see, y'all missing the, the answer. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, what is what it? Yeah, talk about with their natural understanding. Yeah, but with, you don't have God. That's but, why a man but, but, is missing something because they don't have that inner. Yeah, but it's not just heart. that. But you have to look at. Okay, you bring God in, because it's a it's a triangle. Right. It's you, the person, and God. Okay, not the family. You know, yes, the family is part. You know, because I hear mm -hmm. a lot of people say, "Well, I didn't marry you." You know, and your family, but that's right. not true because guess what? Your family is your support system. You need to know because if you have where grandma's not married and mama's not married and you're trying to get married. That does have nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. It does not. Yes, it does. It does yes, not. it does. It because does because not. you cannot. I, I let me tell you, if you have women that are not supportive, you have people in families that's, that are that's destructive. That's intake, but that's no, no, no. But I'm telling you, I've seen it. It's destructive. It does. Oh, it and it you creates trauma it creates, as well. Now, now it let me tell you, it messes up relationships. It does. That's it the does. Way you are seeing that. I see too many families who does not have that intricate part, mm -hmm. and yet they are blessed. I yeah, mean, but that but, mean, but that's doesn't mean that they're not because blessed. You know, I'm yes. about as one, they are unified. They don't have no money. I mean, when I said no money, they are happy to have just a home or yes. an apartment or whatever. Yeah, it's but that could be that could be from friends from grandma or great grandma that's making it work. Like my grandmother wasn't married to my grandfather, but that's not to say. And I remember my grandmother when I told her I was getting married. You know what the word she told me? What did she say? She said, "Do not love that ring more than that relationship." And I couldn't understand it because I thought it was a great thing to be married, to mm -hmm. be doing the right thing. What did she mean by that? What she meant was a lot, of, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of people get caught up in the wedding mm -hmm. about the title of being married. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that is spiritual warfare. You're okay. You're supposed to forsake all others. When you first start, most of the time you, you know, I mean, now people are doing a little bit better, but let's say you don't have a degree. You both are working, you know, blue collar jobs and, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to make it work. Right. Heaven forbid if your mama gets sick or you have a new child. I mean, daycare and stresses at work. How do you handle that without being angry? How do you communicate? Right. Because I was taught that you stay married throughout it all. But what is throughout it all? Does it mean that if your spouse cheats? Has an outside child? Does it mean if your spouse gives you um, AIDS? Right. Um, what if your spouse has PTSD or is addicted to drugs? I had a friend who was married to somebody who their spouse stole almost everything. I'm talking about from the kitty DVD out the home because right. it, and she tried to stay. She went to the church. She went for counseling. But and you know what, too, though, mm. it um, you know what, too, it mm. it's. So you're saying when someone is married, there's different things that they could go through, a spouse cheating, et cetera, et cetera. Even if you're not married, that could still happen. That you could go still... moving with, listen, yes. you moving with somebody, you having them same problems. problems. Exactly. But how do you so, address them? How do you prepare for them? Are you really ready? You know, a lot of people think, oh, I love this person, and that's why I allowed the person to hit me, or they're going to change, oh, and that's and, and not going so to you, happen. So in a way, you settle, you, right? You, you settle, you, and your, your, your value is now, you're like, wait, not just, well, not just that. 
that you you you're taught like as a woman you can fix because we are women are kind of brainwashed and thinking we are healers we're proud. but you cannot continue Heal to pour into a vessel fixing. that's not healed right. I mean he may be a great guy but if he has trauma that he's taking out here he is not prepared to be in a committed and healthy relationship that's so true but, but what about here. if two yeah. people are in trauma but they think they're healed because yeah. that good. happens too yeah they'll be adamant does. like oh i'm healed I'm, no I'm and the... you have to understand that trauma is in different forms yes you know what i'm saying and it may come out in, a in different, different ways. Life, in different ways. Mm -hmm. And you may not know. Right. And maybe their mama didn't know they went through the trauma. Or their daddy didn't know. Or right. their auntie. And then later on they find out because something triggered them. Right. And they can say, this was the trauma. I totally agree with you about the need to be connected and in tune with God. And he is a healer. I, he is. The same way that you said that you have been through stuff. But God but won't they have to go to... through it and have no mental breakdown. But wouldn't because they I have it so strong with God? God always let me know through the word of but God. That, but that's not that everybody that. has that, mean, that, that strong doesn't mean connection. That person that does have a mental breakdown that doesn't make that they, that doesn't mean that God doesn't love them. I mean, think oh, about it. Sometimes you, what I'm you, saying, no, again, you yeah. brought something up. That's the way your analogy. Yes, yeah. I mean, it. Yeah, they have nothing to do with your relationship with God. It's mm. about. For one thing, you got to know you and God. I don't care what you're doing. That's why you keep failing. And I'm sorry, but that's what the word of God backed me, and I'll stand on it till Christ come back. Because I, that's I, why he put his word here. We was not here before the word of God. No, I totally agree with that. We, but I don't, we know more because we done read this word and still don't have no understanding of who God was going back to God. True. That's what yeah, we're talking true. about. Right. Yeah. Too many people have gotten this word. I got to see what the, what the title is. And we was. feel we know it all because we, we, I mean, we know how to dot our I's and cross our T's and still don't understand knowing how to, what is it, coagulate who Christ yeah. is. We true. Don't they don't but know. At the, but at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people. True. And heal people is, heal people. Okay, and again, it, it, what, why though? Because you won't understand and humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. But let's look at it. But let's look at this. When you have two people, oh, oh please, please. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh oh, okay. I knew we were going to okay. get some. Calls. I'm sorry. Oh, Go ahead. Yeah. This I, is I, good. I, I think, you know, I think where the issue comes in in this discussion is, okay. you 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 all are coming from two frames of different mindsets. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, Tamiko and uh, Nicole, you guys are talking about. People just in general. In general. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pastor Deborah, you're talking about people who are in Christ. No, just general. But, okay, but, but hold, hold, let me finish. Okay. But you can't tell someone to know God. No. Oh, if they don't know God. They right. don't know God. Right. Okay, but I'm asking you now, how many people back in the olden days? We always hearing people say, well, that's what happened in the olden days. You just said it too. That was back in the Bible days. It went even right. further back mm -hmm. in the old days. But look at how many problems we had. Everybody didn't have a problem. And kept it to themselves because that's what you all are saying. They, yeah, but they kept okay. it in the family. No, some people live a happy God. I mean, when I say God, I'm not talking about religion in mm -hmm. the sense of religion because everybody just still to the day talk but don't have a real true relationship with Jesus. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking about because there was a lot of religion going on there. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. We had to get up in the morning on mm -hmm. Sunday, make sure we brush our teeth and right. do our hair and go to the church. Right. But never knew Christ. Exactly. Through salvation. Right. And a lot of people don't know it now. They went ahead and confessed Jesus Christ as their righteousness and everything, but still don't have the living spirit inside. They don't. Yeah, but and, uh, okay, but, but we, we're going back to what he's saying. I'm going yeah, back but to what that's, he's saying. That's, no, that, but I'm getting ready to come okay. forth with this. Okay. Gotcha. Many people never do, knew that. But it was, I mean, families mm -hmm. that survived and mm -hmm. thrived. Yes. Where did the problem come from nowadays? And if you notice, and I don't think Christ put it in the Word just for that because he showed it in the Old Testament what happened. When people left the, what was right and wrong, and it had nothing to do with religion, but we know, hypothetically, if I go in that kitchen and turn on that stove and put my hand on that stove, what's going to happen? It's going to burn. burn. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So if you knowing something's going on and it has initiated from the start, I meet a young man, hypothetically, I'm going to give you the mm -hmm. testimony today. Okay. And when I met this young man, I'm leaving the, uh, the post office today, <laughs> bagged up in my truck, and I was having a good time in myself. Okay. Not so much to talk about Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, nothing. I'm just having good and good. All of a sudden, this man ran around. That, he said something. At first, my first intention, but I don't want to be disrespectful. Okay. He said, da, 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 da. so whatever he was saying, you know, okay. I shook my head. Okay. He didn't see it. I said, do I stop or not? He said, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. And when he came up to the window, he said, oh, 
how you doing? And I, you know, cordial again. We all cordial, cordial to everybody. Yes, yes. He said, who are you? That right there got me because I'm like, who are you? I thought I knew you. That's what you <laughs> yeah. you know? right. And then he started talking and he said, oh, where are you on your way to? And I had just left the law firm with, pa pa uh, give me a second, Pastor Paul Howard. Okay. But Attorney Paul okay. Howard. <laughs> and he said, uh, literally, and he went on to tell me who he was and all this. And then I said, okay. I said, you want me to give this card to Paul Howard? And he was like, well, I stopped you because I wanted to get to know you. Do you and understand <laughs> women that's watching me? How do you want? How you want to get no, to know you? Women, pastor. that's what I said. And, and you know, and I'm serious. Not, I don't okay, have we, nothing mental. No, no, no. Understand? No. Yeah, I understand. But I've become so disgusted because I'm like, wait a minute. And literally, this is what I tell God anyway. If a man don't know how to approach me the right way, you got to get to know me. So why already I saw you want to get to know me in that kind of way? Because automatically it was a cutoff in me. Because I was like, discuss. Now. Mm -hmm. Going back to what we're saying mainly with women. Okay. Women want to be attractive to men. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, yes, he didn't really know me, didn't see me, but maybe he saw the virtue. Hypothetically, yeah, I said, we don't you understand. Because he saw I cared myself, because he had to be watching me going in the post office and back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying now, with mentally, if I had been all excited <laughs> and didn't know my worth and who I was and who I am. Right. Well, I could, uh, ooh, he wants me. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you would have been yeah. like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, there ain't nothing bad about that. There's nothing that, bad you know? about that. Because I ain't even no. look at it that way. But you know, I do. And I ain't going to tell that lie. Okay. Right. I looked them up and down in my eyes without even shape turning my head. <laughs> right. But and, and men do it all the time, right? Men are Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But when he said this, because I know it then, back what my dad said, it's, a, it's something that God will let me know. Yes. And I'm not going to waste his time. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. He said, well, can I call you Sunday? And I guess what I did. And I, yes, and if you see seeing it, Mr. What he gave me? Running. <laughs> I look, and I know what number I use all the time, but I gave him my second phone number that I answered just for it. Investigation yeah, services sure. only. And I said, here's the number you can call me for my business. But why you gave him your digits, though? No, no, listen. Because okay. I'm not going to disrespect him because he know Paul Howard. And okay. he would call Paul Howard, and Paul said, "Here's Sister Curry's number, or whatever." Yeah, but for what? But he was, he, but he was approaching you. Was he in he's a, a did personal? You catch what I'm saying? No, think yeah. about a psychologist. I'm saying it. He understood I, I, what I said. Business. Okay. Okay. I don't want personal. So if you called me and I cut you off and said, "This is business," you remember I gave you that number. Here's my number for personal problems. So go back to what? What did he say when he approached you? I told you. Yeah, I just want to. Yeah, but we just wanna, because because it sounded like it was not a professional. Right, it was more no, personal. He said, said, what do you do? Okay, about it. okay. So you explained that. Yeah, yeah I, said, okay. I work with Paul Howard. Okay. I always lead with that. I okay. work with Paul Howard. Okay. He said, "Oh, you're an attorney." I said, "No, I work with nothing but attorneys. I'm an investigator." Okay. Because that's something I so, already knew it. Because when he when you he made the that. comment, that yeah, when I you thought do it he on was Sunday. Like, exactly. It's not, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You heard him say. That's that's not literally why I stopped you. Okay. You understand? Because I had gave him all my business references. So Listen. now I really wanted to talk with you. And it, I, that's what I, I, that was, okay. I proceeded and I'm like, discuss it. And yeah. I'm like, and You're I saying did. this is you were right. personal, but this is strictly yeah. professional. Business. I gave you gotcha. my business, business number. number. So okay. when you call yeah. Paul. And I see your point. You're like, well, why give him the card? No, he would no, always no. call the office. Because we're going to do some business. Okay. Because okay. he gave me some card. And, I, and, and no, let me tell you something, Miss Brand. Because <laughs> you, you know, I, I look at ways where God's saying he brings situations for a reason. Yes. And work together for good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guess what? And what? I had to tell my son this. What? He said, here's my card. He said, I do contract bids. For the government. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Okay. 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 Over, I mean, he's got his business. Exactly. And he, contract, and so right. Contract business, they're going to pay him $2 million for what he does right now. Oh, for my just God. simple twenty dollars or $30,000 for okay. a contract. Hey. I say, God, thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. right. Now I understand yeah, why you gave him the birth. Right. Right. See, you know, right. we got to right. get right. the whole. Yeah. Right, right. right. The whole. There, was, there were pieces <laughs> missing. There were pieces missing. I thought yeah. he, yeah. Was, he Listen, was like. Listen, you like me. I need the top, the middle, end. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now it makes sense. You give me that. It, it, right. No, no. Like, look, I ask questions, okay? Right. See, I mean, I'm not, not I'm not going to make assumptions, right? Okay? We're going to ask questions. Like, because we, I'm like, if he was coming to you at that, why you gave him your number? Yeah, but yeah, now but, I understand. But now we see I the understand. Full, yes. The yes. Full <laughs> picture. You know? right. Put your glasses on it. You know? <laughs> right, right. Oh, right. I mean, but you have to call it as you see it because yeah. a, a lot of times, 
how people come to you. It's right. not, you can't just look on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Because... What if, you know, you're not made up or whatever? And I know Monique was talking about that, how we carry ourselves mm-hmm. and, you know, and, and she was doing it out of love. I mean, and a lot of oh, people are yes, upset that. about that, right. you know, Fred about. Hammond, when he was, she was doing that with Fred Hammond, is that it? No, she, she made a video. She said that about we the need bonding to bond and, and slippers and, and traveling, yes. and traveling airport, airport and you know. Like yeah, yes. no, we don't do that. You know, like, like today, I'm in the studio. I could have wore jeans, but no. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's said it. Professional come professional because I don't know who's watching. Oh, I mean, I have yeah. a couple people. You know what I'm saying? It's how do people take you serious? How, I mean, how you do your present? Yeah, I could have came wear in jeans and still be yeah, professional. Perceived. But again, mm-hmm. the outlook, you don't know who's, looking, don't know who's yeah. looking in right. the perception. And mm-hmm. like you were saying, you know, a lot of people come with their degrees and their titles. And, you know, I have worked with people who, like you said, that has degrees or whatever. And you had to. Say, uh, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Yes, you know, you know, what I'm right. and it, you know, and it's, 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 here's the thing. I think we're not genuine anymore. Thank you. That's what we're not, you yes. know, like even with friendships and hurt and pain. Oh my God. Say, yes. Okay. You know what? This friendship has run its course. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I will tell you, I respect you. I didn't even know that you were a pastor. I mean, I would just talk to <laughs> no, her in the beauty salon. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I, I'm genuinely me. I talk to, she will tell you. Right. I talk to everybody. Yes. Right. And I we walk in. And, in you know what I'm saying? So right. we have the conversation, <laughs> having the conversation. And that's, and some people don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if I'm having a bad day, I'm going to tell you I'm not having a good day. But right. for the most part, I'm genuinely nice and very talkative mm-hmm. to people and share information. Mm-hmm. Because me having the knowledge and not sharing is not a blessing to exactly. you. Know, you know exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because when I go, I, who's a blessing? You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And we do have those group of people that says, Hey, because I have a degree or I have this title, mm-hmm. my time is worth money. Yes. And if you can't afford it, then I'm not giving oh, it to you. Do it you know, right. they, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But sometimes you're blocking your blessing because yes. you never know that person that you're helping could, could be, a, like right. you said, that uh, connection right. mm-hmm. and the importance. Yes. Um, but so I noticed that people don't value real authentic relationship. They're so fake. Yes. Like, yes. hey, how you doing? And you but know, you, ain't nothing underneath that. No. But that's also the reason why I think a lot of people play with God, right? Yes. What was the thing? Last week you said meet your maker, right? Yes. So they'll be like, yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm this. I, I know the word, right? Yes. But are they l- really living the word? Do they actually have a connection with God like mm-hmm. you said? That's it. But my so, thing is, why do they even have to tell you they're a Christian? They could be a Muslim. They could be anything. But, but how do they treat say that each th- other? My thing is, but I exactly. Should, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You should be, and I know there are a lot of fake people out there. It's a, <laughs> so uh, much. Especially in so the church. Many. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably another issue why people are distancing themselves because they're not feeling the love. Mm-hmm. The true, mm-hmm. non-judgmental mm-hmm. love. Because yes. in the Bible, who did he hang with? Who did he help? The harlot, the adulteress, well, the poor. Exactly you, no, no, I, just, I, know, I know you don't. No, 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 no. But I just want to. I know. I, 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 I understand. Wait, 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 but, I mean, wait, wait, wait. I mean, the tax collector. You know, people that were but not he popular did it because they did not know him. They didn't know him. But it's again, like a dark person in the room. Yeah. and the light person comes in and the exactly, light turns but, on. Exactly. Exactly. But it. also the rich person when he explained that, hey, you can't if you give you don't have to give up your stuff. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people get caught up in how you treat. Oh, me and, and make me feel welcome. You know what I'm saying? And if we really look at it, especially we in those that are considering themselves the the family of Christ are yes. in the church. Why are we not more loving? Why are we not more forgiving? Why are we not more understanding? Why are we not saying, you know what? I was a victim of domestic violence. I was hurt. I've been without. You know what I'm saying? I know what it is to need. And let me support you. Let me pray. Let me, you know, start with an attitude right. of gratitude. I, right. You know, what you see now. This is what I wasn't here before Listen, and explain, you know, the struggles. I'll tell any young woman, if I see a waitress and I, let's say, you know, before COVID mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, what are you doing? Are you going to school? And, you know, most, what do most girls, mm-hmm. I'm in a relationship with her. I'm like, you need to go to school. Mm-hmm. You need to invest. You, you know, the things that really should be taught in high school, you know, stocks, invest, buy property, travel. I used to tell my juvenile clients. Get that passport. Don't wait for a guy to take you to the Bahamas. That acting like he doing something for you. Right. The Bahamas is not that expensive. Right. Okay. Listen, the Bahamas right. it ain't not. even I that said, great. You either, need but... to travel for yourself. You know, not saying, well, if he loves me, mm-hmm. and and women are manipulators. We, we are massive manipulators too. Right. They are. But you don't realize if that man is spending money, there is going to be a price to pay. Yes, it is. 
So when you're able to do for yourself, I mean, when you get that partner and you're, I'm not going to say you're going to always totally be equal where they, where you balance each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I cut my grass. I have a lot of my family and my friends go, I can't believe you cut your own grass. That's my time with God. When I'm, when I'm cutting that grass, I can say, God, this is what happened this week. Girl, I <laughs> will hire up, you know somebody. You good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, and some people, you know, and there have been times where I say, oh, you know, the the, the local list. I'm like, hey, can you hit that? I, I just can't do it today. Right. But everybody has their time, you know, and what works for them. Mm -hmm. And it's and during COVID, we had to learn it's not about the church building. Right. It's your relationship with God, talking to him right. when you're hurt, when you're frustrated. Show me who I need to take out of my life. Show mm -hmm. me who I need to bring into my right. life. Show me, you know, what is hurt. What do I need to fix? Two weeks before you had me on the show, I had just told my girlfriend, I said, I really believe the Lord is wanting me to share his message, encouraging and talking about mental health and talking mm -hmm. about research. People don't know where to go. Right. And normally you go to cousin so-and-so who don't know nothing. <laughs> right. I mean, let's let's keep it for real well, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. like you say, they got a degree and everybody the neighborhood it. scholar. <laughs> yeah, come on now, or um, they're not trusting. And think about it, there there hasn't been a lot of people in mental health of it's color. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then if you want to balance faith, there are faith based counselors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then if you do go in your church, you want to make sure that your business is not going to be told to Sister Mary, who is the church gossiper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's not supposed, because there's supposed to be a confidentiality. There's supposed to be an understanding. Right. You know, we all come with baggage. Right. You know what I'm saying? It really, in, in the church, really, when you have problems like that, you're supposed to have the mothers as a church. We don't have now, because mothers now that are 65 and 70. Guess what? They want to be 25 and 30. Listen, 40. right. Yes, right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> right. Let's see what. So I know Sharon J. Hill says blessings. Can you oh, roll hey, that Sharon, up? Sharon, yes. blessings to you. And I see. No, I just want to see no. what they're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But also. There's Bishop. Yes. I mean, there's no, this no, no. Awesome. I, so but I also want her too because she's going to call in. Sis, I know that you are having something on another radio station. I guess I can call their call letters. Can I? Oh, <laughs> but no, she was on WIGO today, and if okay. I'm not mistaken, she'll elaborate. Because not that I didn't feel it was important, since you know how some things you keep where you don't gossip. But no, she needs. To, she has some great stuff she needs to speak okay. about. She maybe take maybe five minutes just so you can more or less let everybody know what you're talking about. If you say five minutes, we'll give you on because we're gonna be on tonight for two hours. That's how blessed she is tonight. God just said two hours, and we'll use maybe okay. next week and play that next part. Is it all right with the producer? Okay, okay. perfect. But yes, um, this sister is something else. I'm okay. telling you, she is something else. She could be a next Angela Davis, literally. And wow. I want you to meet her too. Okay. But let's go forth. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm talking with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so again, um, well, I think you, we started the conversation like, how did I get started in the mental health? So we were talking right. about how the criminal justice system realized that we needed to address the social needs yes. and we needed to partner with either food banks and mental health counseling. And then when we would present to the court and we would tell the court, hey, um, this client is willing to pay restitution, but we're also looking at putting them in a GED program or job mm -hmm. training program, getting counseling. Sometimes we had to do family counseling. Sometimes they were, you know, kids of veterans or they were veterans and to connect them with the VA. And it made a better outcome. And here's the thing. If you want to stop the roadway into the criminal justice system, mm -hmm. you have to address the issues in the community, right. what is causing, what, and that's pain, that's anger, that's saying, okay, the only way I, I think out now, we're, I knew growing up, I couldn't bring anything into my mama's house that All I right. didn't pay for, or somebody gave All me the right. gift, and my mama needed to know who I got it from, mm -hmm. and if she thought it was too expensive, it went back. Yes. Right. Yes. I mean, we don't do that. Again, parents are not saying no, they're not setting limits mm -hmm. or boundaries, they want to do the friendship. You have to be a parent. You have to prepare your child for the challenges of this life. Because if you don't tell that child no at home, mm -hmm. then you're going to have it where the courts are mm -hmm. telling them no. That's it. Or that employer is telling them That's no. That's true. And, then and you have to prepare them that everything is not going to go their yeah, way. Your way. That's exactly. And it's okay. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes God is protecting us. Yes. You know, again, I can use myself for example. I was at a job and... It didn't work out. Now, I think I'm a great employee. Mm -hmm. I follow, and you know, and the lady says, you don't follow directions very well. Now, this is a much younger, I said, Lord, help me. Help me, hold me. That, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, I knew 
there was something going on personally. I don't know what it was. And it could have been that I didn't want to go to happy hour when they invited me. So this I didn't was feel, after when this happened? When yeah. She so, spoke to you about yeah, the, this? You know, so I was like, okay. So she, she could have been intimidated by you. Could have been intimidated. I'm, I'm well versed or whatever. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, I could hold my own. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, and I remember going to the job feeling a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. Again, some people might discern it. Do you know, I was at the job 30 days, COVID hit, I got let go. 30 days after that, my uncle died. But I had had a chance to see my uncle. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things happen in the framework of God knows why. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we may see as a failure is not, so that time not working allowed me to heal, of allowed course. me to grieve. But you needed the time, I though. needed the time, and oh I knew God. that I was hurting. And here's the thing, right. I was able to go check on my mom right. because that was her brother. I, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was able to, a lot of times we are functioning on grief. Yeah. And, cool. and it's not is healthy. So we're like automatic and we're hurt and our parents are sick and they're, you know, the finances are, and we don't know how to pause because we're on automatic pilot and we don't know how to say, I'm hurting. You just said a word. Okay. In 2019, I was in this big contract with ADP and I'm like, okay, nice contract, mm. money coming in. And then my sister passed. My sister passed in, in June of 2019. When I came back from the funeral, they were like, we no longer need you anymore for the contract. So now contract is over, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm still trying to grieve. Yes. And you're still trying to function on a professional level. Exactly. My son is in college. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for that yeah, college, religion. right? <laughs> I'm like, ooh, what am I going to do? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you know? I... And I, I didn't to, even know. And look at God. I mm -hmm. had to pause. Yes. yes. And it was like sometimes things force you. To pause. To pause. Yes. And God and will do that. He will stop. He will remove people. He will remove jobs. Let me tell you something. When my sister passed, I lost a job. I didn't do anything for three months because I was not okay. mentally <laughs> right to do anything. And I didn't want for nothing. Ain't God good? He made I know a way that's not out of English, but he, isn't God good? He made, he made a made way sure out of no, no way. way. Okay, I had time to now, even though I was half working. Bring the, 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 right. Yes, because yeah. let me tell you, I can second that testimony because you know how everybody's saying that unemployment didn't come through. Right. I remember my prayer sister. She said, "What are you waiting on? Why don't you just put it?" I got approved. Oh. Mm. And let me tell you. I sat home, light stayed on, right. the mortgage company's working with me. That is a testament of yes. God giving. And I, you know how they say walk around seven times right. around like, God, right. I got to trust okay. you. I got, and went back to the, my old agency, different team. But I, tr I, you know, the jobs that I have, I was like, okay, God, this is where you need me. Right. You needed That's me it. to leave to see my uncle That's because it. I had already experienced other deaths where I hadn't been there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to handle it. But like you. I agree. The three months, you need to grieve. You need mm -hmm. to hurt. You need to talk to God. You need to say, okay, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that came out of it, now I would call my mom once a week. I call my mom every day now. Yep, every same. morning. Right. Every morning. How was your night? Exactly. How are you feeling? Right. Are you okay? I did that with my younger sister. Well, my older sister. Um, my, I know my younger sister's like, you're going to need to start calling me too. You know, sis, how mm -hmm. sisters do. But it made me realize the importance of time. Right. It oh may be something God. like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? I think COVID has made us realize the importance. Now, some of us are getting rid of things that are not important to us anymore. Right. But I really believe COVID has allowed us to get closer to God, mm -hmm. to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Because we were so busy running, yes. chasing material things. And until you deal with things that you may not tell your sister, your best friend, your pastor. Right. The one person you go to anytime. Is God. Is God. And you do have to face those demons on the inside, mm -hmm. right? The, the hurt. You had to and face. I, and I, let me tell you, and during that, I broke up with somebody mm. who was emotionally abusive. And I had to tell them, right, this was not good for me and I knew it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep on giving you chances. And they were like, I know that you tried to explain to me, but I did not realize it. Now, here's mm. the thing. You can't fix people who, 
until they're fix. ready. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could give them information. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you can show them. Because you know this thing of agape love? Mm -hmm. People don't understand They it. do not. People nope. don't understand that peace of mind. People don't understand that respect the person. Right. You know, right. where I don't need to be in a relationship with you to be happy. I right. could be by myself. Right. And be good. I'm not going to be with someone mm -hmm. to be miserable. Right. I can't but, do it. The reason why extra my sister's passing really affected me was because if it wasn't for my sister in 2014 for 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 years i was in this relationship my son's dad mm -hmm. i was with him for 21 years since i was 17 to 38 it wasn't until i visited with my sister and she told me it was not a good relationship talking about mental abuse physical abuse your sister your sister saw but, it or did you did she just did she you? she i went to visit new york okay and she pulled me to the side she was like tamiko you do not look happy and um don't stay there and let this man potentially kill you right wow what are you going to do about it you're a beautiful woman i want to see you happy i want to see you going out you have an amazing shape people are she say people are killing to be slim you have <laughs> you know you have everything you're beautiful and she told me you need to know your worth and go back there and just think about it but she said i want to see you happy i am so proud of you and it, when I got on that plane, there's a picture that I have of the water on the plane window. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it made some real colors. And I saved that picture because something changed in my mind at that moment. When I came back, I tried to stick it out for a minute. But he just said the wrong thing. was, And, and I'm like... It's something clicked. Something clicked. It was like 11 something at night. He's drinking and listening to rap music talking about kill the beat. And so I'm like, you know what? I said, I picked my keys up, my pocketbook and my keys. And I said, I will be right back. And I walked out the door and changed my phone number and got in my car and just started crying. I left every single thing and started all the way over. And God has blessed you. He's he a bless, bless, a, bless he's me abundantly. abundantly. And he showed you that. Here's the thing. A lot of families will tell people to stay. I think it was meant for us to, to meet. I don't think ha things happen by coincidence. Because mm -hmm. I know when my ex-husband asked for the divorce, the scary thing was I didn't have the support that I needed. Right. And I remember being told, women don't leave their house. Okay, who's going to raise this child if he kills me? Right. Exactly. So the first time I moved to Atlanta, I want to say my daughter was either four or five. It took three years to get divorced because he was bouncing for place. And you know with, with service. You know when a person doesn't want, You know the first time we went to court. Now, listen, nothing against the state of Virginia, the state of uh, for lovers. <laughs> so we had a house. We had cars registered. Can I say Bama? So this person, oh, yeah, so this man was saying, it's, 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 it's a different thing. Okay, thank you. Said, I'm not a resident of, of uh, Virginia. Uh, you know, I'm a resident of another state. So hopefully he doesn't try to sue or try to make money. So when I went to the church, I said, how is he not a resident? We live here. We have, and he said, well, you know, she went to Maryland to work for six months. And I remember looking at my lawyer like, what am I paying you for? Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I said, this man, and I looked at the judge, I said, if I'm found with a toe tag, it's going to be on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because my neighbors was, would tell me, even though he was stationed in another state, he would drive. He would come to the house. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's no, we don't plan for people. You could, you know, the thing about sleeping with the enemy or mm -hmm. understanding. And I know there's a lot of people that might be watching who don't know, because you know, I, I don't share my business. Talk about that. But yes. I think it's really important to know your safety plan when the relationship, you have to tell someone. Listen. Like your sister noticed that you weren't happy, but there are families I can say Caribbean, African, Black, American, who yeah. are like, if you're married, that's the prize. Oh, yeah. But of it's course. Not, if you're happily married or in a right. healthy relationship. But see, people don't even know what a good, good relationship is like. Because you know, so they accept, 
They accept certain things. They accept the cheating. They accept the uh, yes. emotional abuse. Yeah, the they financial. Ex- or, they expect. Yes. They accept the being, you know, yes. beat. Yes. There's a question there. Being cussed yeah. out, you what, know. What, what, <laughs> what, what, what pastor? What pastor? Tell us. What's the question? <laughs> What? What, what, what? Don't tell me. Come on, Pastor. Because God isn't Say there. Because God could be there. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I'm going to add something to that. No, no. I'm not even going to bring that in here. Okay. I'm looking at, listen, and I have to say this. Okay. What? I, I know I'm not no special child because all mm-hmm. of us are the same. But what is it that something inside of me will not take n- less than the best? And what you mean, the best for me? I mean, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And at the you time, yeah, yeah, you you be talking to me. Yes. Man ain't come to me. Yes. I'm not gonna play with his heart and his emotions. No, and you should not for me. No, that's not and what you, I like. Should, no. It doesn't do anything no. for me. No, and so men get hurt. But let's be honest, men get hurt too. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's always. There's a lot of us walking around broken. Yeah. There's a lot of broken men and a lot of broken women. Yeah. That's what I'm asking y'all. Why did y'all even take time with that person if you knew? This is not Here's the thing. I believe God to tell you. No, Listen, said, God, no it didn't start off like that. that. It, it did not start. It did it not. Didn't start it off. did not. And there, there mm-hmm. are things, especially with me, my my so called quote unquote excuse. Seventeen to third. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's a long time. time yeah. And at a time, I don't know anyone else, right? And yeah. then you're like, well, now I'm getting older, right? Yeah. Who, well, who, who, who would that? want me? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Who, who, all of these no, no, questions. All of these. But no, no. But here's the thing. Then the but, mentality. Yeah, and but trust think me, I've about gone through this. a lot of healing. But, but think about this: who you were at seventeen, who you are at twenty, who you are at twenty-five. It's a 30, different person. Yes, you are changing. You're a different person. And relationships have to be able to adjust. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're great. You got to. Listen, legit, you know what I'm saying? All t- listen, God has been so good. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> My brain oh. slipped. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, I know. Listen, do you, uh, I'm not tell even something. telling you to have. He has brought me through it, okay? There were times where I thought I was going to lose my mind in that space where someone is telling you you're about to lose your mind. mind. You yeah. understand or what they're I'm trying saying? to make you trying lose your mind. Trying to make you lose. And no, here's the thing. And here's where the they narcissist. Had they had to see something to oh, say. What that. he but wanted was insurance money, but we ain't going to get go, there. No, no. We ain't the gonna go there. Look, the devil is a liar. Okay. Look. Okay. Yes, the devil is alive. I'll get you out of here. Oh yes. Yeah. It was. It's. It's deep. But 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 <laughs> here's the thing: the controlling. We're not prepared. We need to t- have these conversations. We need to have conversations, conversations like right. this with our young girls to know and, what. And, and, and then he didn't want me to talk to too. my family. You know, he yeah. wanted me to be kept. And, and, yeah. Oh, Same you don't thing. gotta tell we, people we, your listen, business. Listen, we could compare oh, those. Because holidays, we go to his family. We don't want to go to your family. Right. Or, you know, oh, he's such a good guy. Yeah. You know, he's a good person. Right. But that person or he's is a so person. Cute. That, le, le, no, oh, yeah. Or the person <laughs> who passes the daycare on the way home, and then you get off of work, and you have to cross the bridge and go get the child. Right. Or doesn't pay the daycare, and, you know, and people are like. Right. Why, oh, them your bills. Don't want them you your bills. Work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your bills and then when you go well you left me to go get a job yeah because we're about to be broke hello you know what i'm saying hello but what what i will tell you that opened up a lot of things is when supposedly he went to the pastor to, to get his wife to conform because i wasn't conforming right. as a christian wife right. so when me and the pastor sat down and i explained to the pastor i said okay I believe in honoring my husband and respecting God and doing what I su- I'm supposed to do. But what happens when your husband decides to give $100 because of the deacon? They want to buy the deacon a Cadillac, but the water bill is about to get turned off. Right. Well, naked, that is not prioritizing. Priority. Or saying, if you take this job that may involve you traveling, mm-hmm. even though you got a job that has you traveling, that you will leave me or you will take the ch- Now you use an emotional blackmail. Right. You know, Ooh, all or, of that. or yes. I will tell your family or, you know, or you're cheating. Mm-hmm. I used to take my daughter to the, to the beauty salon. She used to sit in her little chair all the time. And I used to say, oh, Lord, you know, oh, are you, you know, is something going on? Are you using the beauty salon as a cover? I'm not thinking about I'm married. You know, I, I took you for better, for worse. And here's the thing. A lot of women stay in it for the worst, thinking they can fix it, fix it, fix it. And they even stay in counseling, there. And they don't realize it is a mental health. It is a demon. You know what I'm saying? Because when we got separated, earrings in the ear. I was like, wait a minute. You're in the church. We don't do the ear. Yeah, my husband. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this is not. You. I remember mm-hmm. my daughter going to, to her father going, daddy, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> when you put one in his ear. Yes. Uh-uh. Because that was, you know what I'm saying? 
that that wasn't how we were raised. You know right. what I'm saying? And there was only one person, I, I can say this, that did not like my husband. And I found out why. Do you know other men can spot other men who cheat? They oh, sure yeah. can. It's, it's they sure spirit. can. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. And everybody was like, no, he's like, he says, no. I, you know what I'm saying? Right. He couldn't tell me. But he saw it. Right. And he wasn't in the church. No, mm. You know what I'm saying? He don't, have, he to don't have to be in the church. But you'll be amazed about people. Now, when this person married the second wife, mm -hmm. she was a pastor. Uh -huh. She didn't know. But Wait the lie he told her was, I had left him and ruined his credit. But see, was, they always sell some, they like, always some kind of lie. lie. Some and, kind and, of lie. Can I say this? Mm -hmm. No puns intended to many pastors will have to No, 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 no. Yes, she knew it. Yeah, but she was he, after him for the lust in yeah, her body. Yeah, but let me tell you something. She, when she called me, and I remember I was with my mom, she called to apologize to me. She said, do you know I'm apologizing to you for two reasons? She said, I had a church member that told me not to marry him. But mm -hmm. because I felt that, what does she know? I'm the pastor. You, right. know, the, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Her right. emotions were involved. And I'm getting this man, you know what I'm saying? And she did not, really, and she said, number two, she said, you were never disrespectful, whatever you are. And she said, I should have listened to God. You know exactly, what I'm and I said, and a lot I was of times we don't. Her. Here's we the see thing: the signs, you know and saying? we don't. We don't. And I was praying for her, and she said, "I don't know how you stayed with him for the length." She said, "Right, I don't." She said, "I don't think I'll ever get me." I said, "No, don't let him right. block your blessing exactly. for a person." I said, "He was just not the one for you, and mm -hmm. you didn't see it." But this could be an opportunity to help others. To know what to look for, Seriously. you know what I'm saying. So that's why I'm saying sometimes you have to be hurt to be able to encourage. Sometimes exactly, you know, it's not just learning, but you have to be. I don't you think you don't should do be. The right thing. Yeah. I mean, but really and truly though, but how do, we people, have this do people do people learn <laughs> lessons if they haven't that's gone through something there. though? Can people really learn lessons in life if they haven't really gone through something? Yes. You think? I don't know. Can they? Where your strength comes from? Okay. God speak in your mind. You ain't got to be saved. But not not everyone. Uh, you need the trials. You need the, tri you need the trials. trials. You need it, the trials and tribulations. You up. You, you need the trials and tribulations. But it builds you, you up. See, oh it, builds you up. it builds you up. It builds you up. It builds. I know. Listen, yes. because if I have I, not, I don't have to fornicate because you know what I know is wrong. You but you ain't got to be nothing about no Jesus. But if I'm knowing I'm a single woman and I want to be married. Because my mom tra uh, raised me right, I'm not going to have it because I'm not going to put myself in a position that I can fall with a man that don't have no desire, no respect. For but me. some people don't. The, but that's the point. You got to learn from yourself. Everybody looking for all these excuses, and that's why the church is frowned on so. You got so many fornicators, lies, all kind of stuff in the church. The Word of God don't teach us that. That's why I had to bring up what we were talking about before. Yes. God said, and this is His Word, and that's what makes me sick. And disgusted when I hear folks that know how to quote a scripture but don't know how to live the word. No, and you should I, I, be. I mean, yes. God looked at it too. He said in First Corinthians fifth chapter, "Don't let this being a fornicator be named one time." He said, "It's people in the church that's supposed to know right." Now, tell me, how can you quote me a scripture and you don't even know how to live it? Yeah, I, I still think that you. I, well, well, I well, think that well, people need life lessons. You know, certain yeah, yeah, life lessons well, help to mold you into the person. If I had not, if I had not gone through that, do you know how strong I am now? Not oh, mentally, oh, oh. physically. Paul did it. He didn't have to go through yeah, everything, but, but Paul, he Christ gave it to it. us. Paul, what? Excuse Paul me. Himself said it. He says the things that I desired. Okay, that was before the, the Spirit of God came in. And he had to understand. No, but the point of it was that was what he was letting you know until he got to know Christ for himself. Read on. Don't just quote one scripture and don't do the whole thing. Read further down. Mm -hmm. Okay? So wait, so that's are you... That's why he had to let us know. We got to learn first. Are you... But he was saying before... Oh, go ahead. So I, help me to understand. See, people are looking for excuses now, and God getting sick of it. And then you yeah, cause people I know, to I stumble, see. and you don't want to live nothing, but you want to find something in the scripture, and you call folks to stumble in your life, according to Proverbs. So a lot of folks going straight to hell, thinking they're going straight to heaven. I can understand that, but help me to understand. You're saying that if you don't have experience, just because God will direct you, direct you, 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 you teach it. Okay, why are you teaching somebody with a degree and you ain't learning? 
You ain't experienced yeah. nothing. You just reading, getting the scripture. You ain't, you ain't learned nothing but, that you're going to teach to somebody else. You learned it through your knowledge. Of course, and that okay. happens. But so it's not. Experience but it? let's just change the narrative a little bit. It is not everyone with degrees. Okay? No, no, I'm just because you that's what that was through, an analogy. Yeah, but you through, learning all this sitting before a teacher, but you ain't never experienced. True, it. because for me, through all of my experiences from 17 to 38, I still got my all my degrees. Okay, but what you learned from it. But it wasn't her degree. It was it her life experience. Hey, but I'm telling you, but it wasn't that. Okay, why did I do Okay, hypothetically. I can tell a woman anything they need and they can be overcome. Because you know why? I learned through knowing what I should do and what I should not do. I was 17 married. But you know what? I had the best marriage. My husband would do anything for me. That's awesome. He could have been, and he had women galore coming after him from the church. And they would even say, what are you doing for this man that keeps him so dedicated, so committed to you? Trusting God. Yeah, but you can you can be dedicated yeah, but, but to a man and to it doesn't mentioned. necessarily I think a woman, mean. I think you, you can have, you can share and you can try to pour, but that person has to be open to receive. Yes. Because think about it. And because have the menta love exactly. mentality. Like your sister told you, I want you to be happy. Your sister saw, she saw. Even, though, even though everybody around you knew, and but they, didn't, you, say, but they right. didn't see what your sister saw. Right. Um, you got married at 17. Yes. And how long were you married? 20 years, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, That's uh, a blessing. Again, it was, and see, I tell people, I don't have a reason to say, it was me. That no, no, that was God, but at no, that no, time. No, no, it was me messed it up. See, I'm not, yeah. one thing about it. Uh, this part of me, like, you know, have you heard people say you grow? Yes. One grow this way and one grows that way? Yeah. Well, isn't that, aren't we talking about growth right now? But, yeah. uh, but, but yeah. let's no, go I'm ahead. I'm ready to tell you why. Okay. okay. A lot of things, I know it was Deborah. It wasn't him. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a, but that's you grew from that, that point, point to now, right? So you but understand the point of what. Is, I already knew I could have sit there and said no or yeah or whatever. Like yeah. I was telling you, like, you all accept the stuff of men that look like you would know it's wrong. Why would I, if I accept But with me, I'm going to tell you something. I'm Caribbean. Me too, we don't girl. do we don't do divorces in my family. I was the second one. Do you know what my my mom and my fix it? That was their answer. Fix it. Or every man cheats and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or forgive them. And that's not acceptable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was later on. I was like, he crazy. But why did <laughs> you, know you choose saying? him? You didn't see that before you no, got into he it? Didn't, no. The people be, no. People no, be no, we you. Are, we, people no, people no, are no, deceptive. No, right. What does Chris, right. What does Chris no. Rock say, say? They said they representative. He said, the, I met his family. You right. said, we like, all do it. Do we do it deliberately or do it because this was something we want? You just we, don't. We, we do it both ways. Sometimes we purposely ignore what we know. No, yeah, or signs. Or, or sometimes, sometimes we don't know. Don't right. It don't show. It's right. Right. And that is right. a master manipulator. Right. And that is dangerous because you, I mean, have you ever watched 2020? Wow. All the time. What did yeah. they show you? Nobody knows so-and-so was a serial killer. Right. Or nobody knew so-and-so was a bezelin. Or nobody knew... You know, so and so I mean, was molesting right. kids. You just didn't know. You right, know. right, right. Until somebody said, "Hey, Bill is looking." You know, I know this Bill did, and then that's how they find out. Exactly. You know, um, Bill got a million bodies. But, 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 but you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but you know, we're talking about, and I and I really believe in discernment. And I can tell you, for me, I got married at 21. For me, I should have waited. I should have right. trusted God and who God was gonna say. I yeah, thought you know, so I should have thought. You know what I'm saying? That's all I, I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. If I had waited and not mm -hmm. rushed, because there what I did go. is I joined the military and I thought the next step was to get married. Because right. in my in my thinking, I was thinking that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? And the money is extra when you marry. Yeah, it's supposed to be <laughs> right. extra. But here's the thing: in the, don't, in the military, yeah, 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 military, yeah, yeah, military, yeah, 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 right, right. But here's the thing: you have to. Here's the thing. When you're married in the military, if you have a spouse that's gone for six months mm -hmm. on deployment, mm -hmm. you got to prepare. You know, it's it's one thing being black and married, but you black married in the military mm -hmm. and you're enlisted mm -hmm. and the economic and moving around and being away right, from family right. and your car breaks down and nobody talks about, hey, have an emergency fund for right, the car right, right, right. or what's the goals to have a house or, you know, like, okay, I wanted kids, but he didn't want kids and, you know, at, you know, we had a child at, you know, at the four year, which is a good time to be married. Mm -hmm. and, but what happens? You don't travel. You don't talk about 401k. You don't talk about taking All care of, of mama. Right. You don't, you, you have to have these serious conversations right. that for me, I did not become a woman. I was a young lady. Mm -hmm. I did not become a woman until I was going through my divorce.
I'm going to tell you why. Because I had to learn how to be self-sufficient. Yes. I had to learn how to ask for help. I had to get into that relationship with God. And I, I had a pastor that was in um, East Point. He was a white minister. He's gone now. Conley Baptist Church. And I remember I would sit and it. try and cry. And I remember he pulled me. And I know this goes for any pastor who's preaching a sermon. Now, you got a person who's crying all the time. You're like, hey, did I not work on my sermon? What's going on, right? <laughs> right. And I remember he pulled me. No, he said, what's going on? You know, he said, he said, I said, you know, I moved here. I took a job transfer because I left the, I left everything. I just packed, took my daughter. And I was like, I'm going to take this job transfer. Mm -hmm. So he says, what is going on? I said, I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. And he was like, why? He, I said, I'm going through a divorce, right. you know. And he said, did you cheat on your husband? You know, he, mm -hmm. I said, no. He said, did you ever think that God removed you from that situation? He got tired Amen. of seeing you crying. Amen. And that was it. He said, stop giving the devil time. Right. I was teacher of the youth ministry. Right. I was in the choir. I went back to college. Mm -hmm. You you couldn't track. My family was like that's that's back in the day when you had little big. They had to page you whatever right. on your first cell phone. Right. They couldn't catch a homie. And I say, and my family knows. Nicole don't sit down. She's mm -hmm. busy. Right. You know. And even when I'm not busy, I'm home and I'm resting. Like before I came to the show, I took a nap. I relaxed because I was like, okay, I want to be centered. Mm -hmm. I'm, I just want to be prepared. Right. I need to relax. Back in the day, it was always running, trying to be superwoman. And guess what? That burns you it out. It does, yes. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be. See, I'm because, because, you're because. Just, but it, why are you trying to be? Because, because that was, that was my, ex no, that was my example. Because my mom worked two jobs. She was in the church. Being Caribbean. You know, if you, if you, if being Caribbean, that, I, that. I I hard work, right. Yeah, yeah, that's ideology. Yeah, the ideology. See, it's culture. It's work hard. It's, it's yeah. work hard. You like, have it's, to work it's, hard. We, we work hard and we are not No, no, no. It's totally it's different when you're Caribbean and African. It's a totally, when you look at different social. self-taught, though. You keep, I'm yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Let me tell families. you, 6 o'clock, my mom was going to work. She would wake me up. I need this house clean and I need to smell this the ammonia in the corner. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. But, again, I was raised in a very strict household. That's how mom was. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't but, even go out the house to talk about coming to Atlanta unless I had the ring on my finger. And that's why I tell anybody, I wasn't in love with my husband. I knew that was the way I was getting out of the house. See? But, no, it yeah. didn't affect me mentally. I didn't, he wasn't going to. Oh, yes. oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, come closer to the yeah. mic. So, because I was like, huh? Is it over? <laughs> it's getting like, weird. I was like, it's, but, but, but you, yeah, but you said, you're saying, you know, you weren't Caribbean. I mean, and those, some of the traits are still in African American. But I had a girlfriend, a best friend. Mm -hmm. She was Panamanian. Well, see, I like me. And they understand, and I, uh, the disdain is on anybody. No, 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 no. And literally, that's why I said when Black Lives Matter came and all that, I don't, what's called, articulate that. Because I was always around white people. And then my dad later on found out that he was white. Oh, wow. But it doesn't have nothing to do, do with no color. That's why I keep saying. No. I don't understand when people are always talk about color this, color this. I don't have it. And I really believe that it comes through the love, the pureness of God. And it oh, has definitely. to be. We've yeah. got to get out yeah, of but, so, but you know, I can exp I think, right. you, as you were saying, because of our culture, there's... We're now learning, and you'll see it on uh, on Instagram, how we're talking about how, because of your culture, there are certain things, like... In, Generational you, 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 thought, thought process. process. Like, process. like, in the Caribbean culture, it's nothing... It, you know how we talk about verbally. The parents don't see it as verbally. They see it as, okay, I'm going to motivate you by saying you're right. stupid. But that's not... Because for them... Or in Jamaican, you idiot. <laughs> 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 it, like in Haitian Creole, hey, you, right, know, you, right, you, know, right. you know, and you're like, but I just got one B, you know, and, right? And you exactly. have a lot of children who are traumatized, so you're right? Me more or less, people are traumatized by whatever the way they are molded. molded yes. yes, because you're, you're the this, culture. This, the culture is saying, I, I don't know about you in Jamaica, it's but I know in Haiti, if you're not a doctor or a lawyer. You know, now, mind you, the other child is a nurse, might be making more than that doctor. Have a, right, but right. Because she's a girl, the sons are uplifted, right. which is not fair. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That. Or you tell her she can't date. And then when she's 25, you're calling her an old maid because right. you're calling not Exactly. Date. Now she has no experience. You never, like, you, right. You know, you know, so it's it's like a mixed signal. Like, it is. You, you want her to be a good girl, but they're like, okay, when are you going to give me some grandkids? But you won't let me date. You don't like anybody. You know what I'm saying? And. It's it's definitely a mixed signal, it's, and I, I think the newer generation is addressing that. Mm -hmm. You know, in my culture that I'm seeing, where we're having open conversations and right. we can laugh at it. You right. Know? I want to say, but when, trauma. Ooh, go oh, ahead. 
<laughs> no, it, but it does cause trauma, and you it have does. to fully heal. Like, I've even had to tell my mom, you know, there are certain things, if you talk to her, she'd be like, that didn't ah, happen. everything is a problem. I'm like, wait, no, no I don't want that mentality. I don't want that mentality, yeah. you know? Like, it's going to all work out. No, I love you know, when it's that my didn't good. happen. <laughs> right. Like, yes, it did. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you remembering wrong. I mean, I exactly. love that right. Yeah, right. Example, what, you, what was she talking about? Um, when I was in high school, two things. I had a teacher who didn't get married, and she wanted to pay for my ride to go to college. Okay. Ooh. That was her way of giving back. Mm. My mom said no. Wow. My mom was like, no. But why? It's she just said, she said no. But she laid she, on she, she did not know. <laughs> it was just let no, and that's it. Let me tell no. you something. In a Haitian house. <laughs> said it did happen. Exactly. Now, here's the other thing. I had when you know but, you but go out of college. I understand the reason I have to stop it. Well, there was no reason. reason. No, no, you don't understand. In a Haitian household, it is a dictatorship. They tell you no, and you accept them no. Don't, don't ask no, why. There's no don't question. Take anything from no, somebody no, trying to help you. No, <laughs> you don't accept it. Well, no, it's what, just what the parents? Say. What, what no, the what parents said. That's what she's saying. Yeah. It, 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 no, it had nothing to do with somebody giving. She was just like no. no. Now, when it was time to go to college, I got picked for a college. It was out of state. And I, and I remember this conversation clearly. She had a girlfriend come over, and she was like, don't let her go away. And my mom was like, why? My niece went away. Oh, And God. she got she that. got pregnant, <laughs> okay. and she's going to lose her mom. Right. <laughs> so, 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 so when I'm like, Mom, you know, I didn't really have to join the military and almost die jumping into the pool learning how to swim. You know what I'm saying? And she goes, you didn't join the military. I'm like, yes, I did. I had to get out this house. You know what I'm saying? Hello? But I had to do it the right <laughs> way. Because you know as a Caribbean woman, you know as a black woman, you can't leave your house any kind of way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, yeah, I joined the military. Mm -hmm. I don't regret the decision. The, the decision that I regret is not staying in and retiring. Right. But what I'm telling you, there are certain decisions you make because of other decisions yes. that were made for you. And the so if I had gotten I totally that ride that, to go right. to that college that was out of state because they were trying to integrate, they, mm -hmm. they, it, it wasn't a matter of grades. It was just, we need black students. You're graduating high school. You we can get in. you in. Right. So think about it. If I had gone to that college, I would Imagine have no student where you, loan right. Yes. Right. Okay, that now that we're talking about how we're burdened with student loan debt exactly. in the black community right. and people are not buying a house, you know, like everything impacts another mm -hmm. thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where now it's like the same parents that were so strict are now more open oh, and yes. more understanding yes. toward their grandchildren and right. opportunities. But and they forgot. They, they forgot, forgot about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that in itself is trauma because you're like, okay, well, if you hadn't said no to this. Right. Maybe I could have went this way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then who knows who I would have met and how that would. But exactly. then I had to say, okay, this was a life lesson. I survived. Mm -hmm. I can talk about it. I'm okay. And my diploma is worth more because I worked. Right. I was, I was a divorced mom or getting divorced, working full time and taking a full time load. Hello. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And I understood now where, you know, when you get out of high school, I took a year off and you're taking one or two classes and working. You're like, eh. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Eh. Right. But when you're working and you're paying for it yourself right. and you're fighting for that A or that B exactly. or your financial aid is on the line, right. trust and believe mm -hmm. you're going to say, I earned this. Nobody gave right. me this diploma. And that's why sometimes you may say, okay, why do people think that they're so Look. important? It's because because for Caribbean and Hello, and I'm sure for magna black, cum laude, I work for you. that. You, I'm you so proud it. of it. <laughs> you know, it. I'm the first woman out of three journeys. My, my grandmother was functionally illiterate. My mom barely has maybe elementary school education. So I was the first one. So there was a lot riding. Right. And I remember when I was going through my divorce, this was the best advice my divorce attorney told me. Do not be dependent on child support because yeah. there are a lot of mm -hmm. people that don't get it. Right. Even though that person was in the military, have your own money. Right. So if anything happens, at least you have that. Here's the thing. I've applied for jobs that I know that I was qualified or overqualified for. Because when you don't have that degree, you don't have a thing to challenge them mm -hmm. in that experience. Even being a veteran, because they, they sell you the thing of, when you're a veteran, people are going to hire you. Right. I've not gotten hired because they were like, oh, you're a veteran. Right. So their people are automatically thinking PTSD. 
You don't have to have PTSD because right. you're a veteran. Yeah, right. That is right. a misnomer. Do Your people have, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but the mentality, mentality is there. Whether or not they say it or not, they you still have that tell, stigma. Or, or people who did not join the military and they're still stigmatized. Right. Because there's only 1% of the population in the United States that go to the military. Mm. So, so we're another. You interact with uh, the you interact, and everything. Yeah, you inter you, huh? You didn't have to fight or anything. I didn't have the combat. I didn't, I didn't yeah, go to combat, combat. but. They don't I was care. Like, Once like, they see army, they think they go, are, are military, military, period. Mil military. They, they, especially as a woman. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That, okay, something happened to you or you were traumatized. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's well, not what true. What with the women of oh, that really it was up there where all the fighting and everything was that bomb burst in World War One, World War Two. They weren't fighting, but they was right around it. They were right around it, but they never discussed. I mean, the United States still has a lot to do in terms of treating their veterans because right. yeah, they're finding at. out that that a lot of women were raped and how they were treated yeah, no, you know what i'm saying that, yeah. and there's that's a, still happening now that's still happening also yeah, sexual right. abuse against men and also um suicides you know over there and here and you know that is still another issue because here's the thing you leave your comfort zone to join a group of people you don't know and then you have to formulate and become a group and work in unison right. when you're still dealing with issues of racism sexism um you know, different other prejudices because I know I had one instructor says, well, hey, you're from New York, so I know you know. And I got Because <laughs> when they did their test, now there was a girl who was pregnant. No, I'm sorry. Wow. You know, here's the thing because the assumption is, oh, you're from New York, so you must know something about drugs or whatever. Oh, I mean, and I'm like, <laughs> what does uh, that mean? No. <laughs> uh, and my family would have killed me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's the stereotype. You know what I'm saying? And we got to get out of that, Thank you. what we think of people. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, and he's like, yeah, you New Yorkers, you know, and like, I know you can do, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm more, I'm probably the whitest black person you'll ever meet. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so proper. I used to hear people say, you know, you, you know, there's some places you go as an investigator, they'd be like, being black is not going to save you because you're using the King's English. All right. You know? It, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, you grew up proper. Oh, uh, because I, I grew up proper because I say yes, ma'am, no, sir. You know, you right. know, or excuse me, or please. And, okay. <laughs> you can tell that you're different. I, I mean, she it's just. She has to do a prayer call. Okay. You can let, I mean, you can let I'll be know. Okay. Okay. But no, she has to go. I have to do a prior call. Thank you. She's okay. going to do. She has they a prayer so, call. It's a pleasure to meet you. And we praise God for that anointing. She you. may. We may still have some time before okay. she's over. I don't know how long it's going to last. Thank you. Let the Holy Ghost use your sin. Amen. Amen. Right. And he <laughs> missed you too. Thank, thank you for man. sharing. Thank you for sharing that testimony because yes. I, I believe it's been a blessing to a lot Amen. of people. Because you yes. Go ahead. So I just I just think we just gotta be more authentic. Yeah, very much so. You know, and yes. even in the, especially in the church, and yes. we have to say we know that you're hurt, you're broken, and we're. What can we help you? And if we can't help you in the church, let's see what where we can go for help. But now, right. now I have a question, and and, and she's going to be a part two when she comes okay. back, if she come back in time. Okay. okay now think about it though. Mm. Um, why is it then that someone that have learned how to overcome mm. and has come to be established in what who they are and how to more or less lead? Because that's what we call a leader. A leader that know how to overcome in certain ways that they don't have to break down and say, oh, I experienced this, so I got to be hurt in order to show you how not to be hurt. I'm like, okay, that's not what Paul went through. See, I hate people, I mean, when I say hate, you dislike, correction, you dislike. dislike. <laughs> okay, because people say, oh, what then they hate? Yeah. 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 But no, because see, when people give an analogy of something that they don't have no understanding of, mm -hmm. that's why, again, they have to get that word and let that word get in them. And that's why a lot of people stumble and falling when they don't have to stumble and fall in Christ, if you understand what mm -hmm. I mean. But what why is it that the ones who have learned how to be more than overcomers, because they've learned how to go to Christ, and Christ have put it inside of them that now it's no longer them, but it's I, Christ, mm -hmm. that live inside of me. And I'm finding out that's why you got a lot of defeated uh, believers, let me put it just that yeah, way. Yeah, unfortunately. And, and that's why I was trying to give an analogy earlier. Mm -hmm. Doing a lot of preaching, a lot of talking, know the word from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. but you never see the word being enacted in their lives because they are defeated. They, they live and walk a defeated life. So therefore, that's what Paul was more or less was saying, if you understand my meaning, when he mm -hmm. made that <laughs> analogy of that scripture. That, that. See, and I do. Mm -hmm. I want people to start, that's like hypothetically. Okay. You are, and I'm going to say it again, you're not a therapist, but that's what I see you as, okay? <laughs> if you was always talking therapist, therapist, but then every time I see you, 
I'm, I'm, this you observe, observe, observation, yeah, observe. Like, well, okay, what yeah. are you living in the busy life, but you got all this knowledge. Logic, exactly. But see, now with you, that's why I attract to you. And I'm going to tell a reason, too, why I do attract to people. Because when they start talking, and I don't know why God have anointed me to do this, and maybe that's, like you said before, discernment. Yeah. I don't care who you are, what profession you're in. It's almost like I gave an uh, 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 example once before. When I'm in investigation in law, mm -hmm. I come in a room, and I guess that's what Jesus, well, he is the anointing. Yeah. But anyway, people start talking, and it's like a puzzle. And I, have, I always understand exactly. He takes that puzzle, and it's like, what is that picture that you saw how things be formulating in the air? Oh, okay. Like I, I, with the formula with the, when they. And they, you see everything they, they happening, and you're like, okay, where is it going? Okay. Where is it going? You see and the, the X, the, Y, and the, the, the Z, and together. it's squared. Yeah. And that's how, almost like a puzzle. And I'm sitting here saying, okay. So when people are talking, God just let me let me see everything about what's going on, who's lying, that Y doesn't go there. No. Mm -mm. The, the you underscore and i'm like okay and when it gets through i said are well, you sure you didn't do this and the person stop it's almost like they're asking me mentally were you there did somebody tell you what happened exactly they don't but you didn't realize you were listening and you were paying attention and god is letting you know no, you see the picture just for what it is. is so that's how when i'm talking to people when you was in that chair that day and that's strange <laughs> you started talking uh, and you know, it was like in the beauty shop. Yeah, in the beauty shop, the beauty we were shop. having that conversation. Everybody talking, everybody, everybody music playing, everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting here, mm. and I'm constantly migrating to what you were saying. And then I'm saying, okay, not I wasn't doing it intentionally. But you just have, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I felt your heart. And, I, and people don't understand when I said it. I hear the heart talking. And I'm like, okay, she's talking from her heart. So let me listen because she's something she's saying that I need to listen to. That's credibility. That means yes. just that symbol. And that's why I brought my brag book. <laughs> <laughs> bring it up here. So we're going to bring that into the picture. Okay. But no, that's how I listen to people. So when I hear people talking, and I'm not, not talking about a judger. Uh -uh. And that's why I no, tell no, people no, I no. don't judge people. And I tell them, even if I tell you what you're wrong, am I judging? Just no. because I tell you what mm -hmm. you got on is red. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't match hypothetically. Mm -hmm. well, and really, really, it can match it almost <laughs> anything. So let me leave another analogy. No. But you know, you're sitting here and then I'm like, okay. And if you say something, I don't know what it is, but this is what God told me happens. Uh. It's the presence of God. And you said sometimes Jesus was with all kind of people. Mm -hmm. See what it is. When you're in darkness, you don't understand you're in darkness. Mm -mm. You see the difference? Yes. But those that, you heard what Christ said in the word of God, those that say they have no sin, but yet sin remains. Those were the Pharisees. They felt they was right. They had all what had to be done. They knew they knew right. And he said, uh-uh, you really think you're right, but you're not. And see, I, I with you, you just had so much, and I, I was enjoying you. That's literally what it was. I was sitting back, and you, you was talking about a great stuff. When I say great, great, in the sense of right then. Okay. And I said, yeah, but she needs someone. So what I saw was that what she needs is what some people right there need. Because they wouldn't receive it from me because I'm coming with an answer that Christ gave me. And right now, I'm not ready to come out of my, my prison right now. So <laughs> show me a better way to come out. You have it. You oh, see the difference you. of it is. Yes. So we're yeah. living in a world that some people don't want to know they're in this prison. You understand? Yeah. Unless you come the easy way. Yeah. But show and me show some, how you can stroke yeah, my yeah, feelings. Yeah. You know, and it, it feel come with it. love and, and gentleness. Yes, and, and then sometimes, and just like you, yes, people sometimes when I come to check on them, they're, they're hesitant, mm -hmm. you know, because they don't want me in their business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I want you in my business. I don't yeah. want to stay in my business, yeah. you know. And then before you know it, you hear about trauma. Because you know how to pull it out. Yeah, of and, and you're listening and then you're guiding. But at the same time, you got to figure out if they're lying or if it's. Thank you. you if they're putting on an act because, exactly. you know, and then you're taking notes. So, so you said, um, you know, there's no financial exportation mm -hmm. and you're saying that there's. Um, no misuse of funds, and so tell me, why are you six months behind in All right. in in rent, and and why is this person your caretaker? Mm -hmm. and did you willingly give them your card, or did okay. you know? Did you yes. you know what I'm saying? So and then people don't have time to formulate because they don't know what questions you're going Thank to you. ask. There you, you go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's it's again, and you had mentioned something earlier, okay. like um about the relationships, like why didn't we see yes. certain things? And I see it even with clients. Because people are determined to believe that lie. Yes. Okay. That they're right. Yes. Even though it's wrong. Yes. And other people have told them that that behavior is okay. All right. And then when people challenge it, like I explained to you, when mm -hmm. I went to that pastor and I was telling the pastor, 
yeah, I understand my husband came to you, but he did not come to you with the right intentions. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't hostile. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was open. I said, this is the situation. You know, I love my husband, but these are my concerns. Yes. Okay? Um, and the pastor said, okay, I'm going to talk to him. Guess what? He ended up being upset because the pastor got on him. So what he did is he went to my pastor. Now, I know we're married. We're supposed to be going to the same church. And I said, pastor, I come to, you know, to church with my husband twice Sundays, you know, we are both different religions. I said, I'm glad we're both in faith. I said, but I don't feel welcomed. Mm -hmm. So, and I had to explain to him, I would love to come to church, but I can't be getting abused verbally or mentally and then come to church and praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. And there are a lot of people sitting in church hurt. Oh, a lot of them are. You know what I'm saying? Very much and, so. And it's, and because they blame but, but you, you know why though, again, Pastors should be a shepherd to know yes. when the wolf is around. Yes. You see them? Mm -hmm. And see, a lot of pastors, they are so dedicated to who they are, the title, that they don't have time enough to be in consecration to hear from God. That's you understand? True. Yes. That, and and, and I'll tell you the difference, too. Mm -hmm. When we were raised in the Word of God in the church, our pastor heard from God. And you he, know, have you heard when people say, Why are you preaching on me? That's, they would sometimes That's call you out love. because yes. they God was telling them, Zach, and brother so and so, so, you need to stop what you're doing. Because doing, yeah. it brought fear, or more or less. Oh, yeah, because respect. they realized God was giving them a word. Because I remember when yeah, I be, got the day that I decided that I was going to get saved. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember the pastor saying, Look, when you get saved, don't think that this is like a cape, like you're Superman. Mm -hmm. You are going to be challenged. Yes. You are going to be hurt. Yes. He said, if you didn't have money issues, you're going to have them now. <laughs> if you didn't have marriage issues, you're going to have them now. If your kid was, you know what I'm saying? He said, I want to prepare you, but never, don't give up. You know, he tried to encourage, he said, you, God is going to equip you yes. on how to handle situations. And I remember going home and getting cussed out. Because of what the pastor said. the pastor said, you know, no, because I got saved, but I didn't tell him. And I remember his oh, aunt yes. had called okay. and said, you know, your wife got saved. And I remember him saying, why didn't you tell me you're going to be saved today? I said, would it have made was any he difference? Saved already? Like, yeah, he was already saved. But here's the thing a lot of people, how do I put this? I, 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 a lot of people, they think because they know the word and they can quote. Now, I can't Thank quote you. scripture, you, you know what I'm saying? But, you know but my heart, I, yeah, I'm saying I, could, I, I can see that you're hurting. Like, I remember going through that pain and seeing other women and saying, I was there, and you can't yes. block your you blessing. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you, I could relate to it. You know what I'm saying? And about forgiveness. Let me tell you, forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for yourself. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because they will never apologize, and they will never no. see that they did wrong. Actually, they will blame you yes. for the situation. Yes. And, what, and, it, and what people really need to understand, when you forgive your enemy or the, your tormentor, regardless is at work That's or in a relationship it. or a family yes. member, it gives you a strength and a connection with God that you, it, it lifts you up and it gives you a peace. Yes, it not does. Not saying that you're not going to still no, have no, that scar. I know what you're talking about. You know what, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yes. You're going to still have that scar, but yes. that scar, it, it doesn't bother you anymore. You, you it's because you, you, you're, you let you're, the peace of God, the peace of God is yes. coming into you. You know what I'm saying? And then people see your light, people Thank see you. your joy Thank and your you happiness. Know. You know That's what I'm saying? It. And they're like, wait a minute, didn't you just. <laughs> How you how how are you happy? How are you standing here? How you how you know we know you in pain? And yes, when we lose a loved one, Christ we are takes it over. Christ takes it over. Uh -huh. And it's and when some of my darkest days, I know if it wasn't for Christ, like she said, I probably would have lost yes, my mind. You know what it. I'm saying? I probably I said I love wearing orange, but I don't want to wear state issued orange. Okay, <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. You know what I'm oh, saying? Because yes. there were some people who would take you there. Let, yeah. Let's oh, keep it real. I, I, I mean, let me let me tell you, and I had to tell myself, is this person worth? Thank he you. was going That's to print. You know what I'm saying? And you have to say, God, I'm trusting you to handle it in your right time, in your right way. Let Thank me tell you, you, I have always said, I'm not gonna get you back. I'm gonna pray for you, mm -hmm. and you better pray. That God don't take, you know what I'm saying? I no, what's happening? You, 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 you're, you're speaking the I'm word speaking in your own way. I'm saying, I'm just saying, God, I can't handle it the way I want to, and go. I know it's not for me to handle. But God will let me know that it's been taken Thank care you. of. You know what That's I'm saying? It. And I've had people come back to say, "I'm sorry," well, and mm -hmm. they're like, you know, I said, "Well, I've been forgave you about there it." You, you know go. what I'm saying? Now, if God has removed that person, where I don't talk there to them, that's fine. I'm not, but He knows. And 
what the song say? I've been talked about. I've been lied on. Oh, I've been, yes. <laughs> All right. I'm the poster child, okay? All right. Okay. How'd she get that? Well, you didn't know she went without cable. So that's why she don't shop there or she, right. you know what I'm saying? Amen. You know what I'm saying? People see where you are now yes. and they think that you have all this, but they don't know what you went through. Thank you. You know, or, you know, working a, a, a job that you really didn't like or there wiping yes. baby bottoms yes. or adult bottoms or staying late or yes. having a supervisor that didn't like you because you were ethical. Yes. You know what I'm right. saying? Oh, so. God. Yes. People are like, oh, you know, she's a goody two shoes or she a Christian or whatever. No, I can't do time for it. That's exactly I, 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 just, I just can't go to jail. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean right I, you know, like, let's keep it real. That's it. I can't do time. That's it, though. Girl. Oh. I can't do time. Oh, for I, have I can't do I physical have time, agree. nor can I do spiritual time because I, I got to answer to somebody. Yes. I mean, I mean, let's be for real. How many of us can, can tell people no? And I shouldn't have to give you an explanation. Like when you were saying, why didn't my mom explain? Uh -huh. But she said no. She, she said exactly no. She I didn't. I, 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 she didn't have to explain. That's exactly. You know, and now we have a generation where. You got to tell me why. Why. I don't have mm -hmm. to tell you, you why. Really don't, you know no. what I'm saying? If I say this is not working for me or no, you can't come and visit. Yes. Or you can't. You know, I had a house guest. I gave them eight weeks. I said, hey, you know, I did a favor for you. Eight weeks is up. And they, they came to me like, well, I, could, I said no. Well, why not? I, you're an adult. I gave right. you eight weeks. Oh, okay. Because here's the thing. You got to be careful not beca because you were a helper, you don't become a hinderer. There you go. That's and it. that person felt that they had a better relationship. So I, I look at it this way. If you have a better relationship with Christ than I do, then he will provide a way for you. I just had to tell someone that, literally. Literally. And she didn't understand. And she kept speaking something that sounded good, but it wasn't right. If you understand my meaning. No, mean. yeah. Because a lot of people are saying, I know the Bible, uh, that's good, but you are you I living, are you, uh, all right, uh, okay, you what, what, are you learning, and, and, and here's the thing, don't come to me as being the victim all the time. What role did you play in the all situation? Right because look, I can there admit, go. I got okay. married young, there were things that I didn't know. He's not a bad person, he's, he's on his third marriage, you know what I'm saying, no, they've been married for saying. one, you know yes. what I'm saying, but at the time, we were not, and you know, and I, and I went on, again, the premise is you get married, you stay married. But how do you argue fairly? There how you do go. you not attack? And if a person has, excuse me, if a person thinks there's some in insecurities where the person is jealous, what is making them jealous? Were they cheated on? Did we did we have issues in the beginning? Yes. Did they get addressed? No. Okay. So then you have the issue is when you have children. Are they jealous of the children? You know what I'm saying? Are they jealous of, and this is a lot of Your issues right now in marriages children, uh -huh. where the woman might be making more money. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Very so can so. his ego handle it? Do they not realize, I still love you. It's not about the money. It's Thank about you. us growing. So if I'm supporting you in your career and your degree, uh -huh. then it should be vice versa. Well, you have a lot of relationships. That's as long like as there's that. one person on top, mm -hmm. they don't want the other person That's to come it. up. But see, you should have knew that person before you ended up becoming, trying to become and one with them. Yeah, and I thought I did. <laughs> okay. And I didn't. You know, I can, I can admit my wrong. I thought, I, my dad was much older, so I had always been around older people. Yes. And I thought I was, and people will tell me I was pretty smart for my age, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But the thing when it comes to marriage, you know what I'm saying, I just I just saw people married. I never really saw people argue. I never saw, like, my parents really, you know, my mom and my stepdad, you know what I'm saying? And in the Caribbean household, again, I'm, I can't talk about <laughs> no, the black okay. experience. You know, I could only go by my experience, you know what okay. I'm saying? It's not uncommon for people to have children outside the marriage or children before. And I just remember my mom pressing on, don't marry anybody with kids. But nowadays, who are you going to meet that's 25 and above that doesn't have kids or haven't been in a relationship? They shouldn't. I know. I know. I know. I'm not looking at you like But I, you know what I'm saying? So, so to me, I was like, okay, I found somebody that didn't have kids. You know, they had a similar upbringing. They got a close relationship with their mom. They're in the military. I know they got a job. They got a security clearance. We're good. You know, we've been together a year, so the and thing about the time. Jealousy and envy is a spirit. Yes. yes. Well, you know that. So it's okay. But think about it. When you're 21, you don't know you don't that. You know that. No. You don't know that that person, when you're going to school and, you know, you're trying to, you know, get better the grades. Yourself, you're better right. yourself. Because your parents have said, hey, you need to give me that diploma because right. that's why we came mm -hmm. here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that diploma is is your blanket. Yeah, but who wants to be in debt for $100,000 for that diploma where I know that, hey, if I maybe I had gone to community college right. and then took a certificate course, maybe I could have been making more money. I mean, I don't regret my diploma. Right. I enjoy the fact that I've learned what I learned and I know the system, and mm -hmm. I can, chose to I, which I chose to do. And I've always had a spirit 
of wanting to help others. That yes. has always, my mom said that. I think I got, the first time I got in trouble was because I went to help a neighbor clean her yard. I think it was like six. You know, I got out of school. No wonder you no, like mowing. Me, I like mowing. <laughs> me, and, me, and, me and the little, and then it was half a day. So, you know, I didn't come home by three because the popo looking for me, you know. Oh, no. And I didn't get, my dad didn't whoop me. I got in trouble, but you know, but I, I, I just got so caught up in helping. helping and right. I've always had a love for the elderly. You yeah, know what I'm saying? question between, uh, well, yeah, either one can pipe up. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, what is it that a man? Now listen, I'm serious now. When okay. I'm serious, and she okay. got me smiling. Uh, 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 oh, because 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 to me, what is it that does a man going. see in you when they always? Well, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Okay. You tell me. What is it when he said you're married kind? You're a marriage kind. Or you're a marrying kind, maybe. You're oh, married kind. Yeah. I. You want to go? You want to take? Because no, I'm in go, jail. Go. Okay. So to me, it's how you carry yourself. I think men can pick up. I think it's the primal. And can you chime yeah, in? Can, can you yeah, chime yeah, in yeah, that? I, <laughs> I, I mean, because we do have a man in the room. Yeah, I just want to okay. confirm. What, so, what is it when men, uh, when they say it's to you're a woman, marrying you're the marrying kind? I see you as a, a wife. Hmm. It's something to that now, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm hearing something, but I want to hear him. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he laughed. I like. I look at like, I, I, like, well, it's like, do I tell break the man code or not? Well, you know definitely, I won't break man code. Okay. But okay, what okay, you okay, all? Okay, are, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I know because that's why you laughed. <laughs> but what you all are asking me is to answer for all men, and I no, cannot. No, no, no. no we're no, not. No, we're just. See, it's something to you when you saw you, your wife. Oh, this period. If you got women, well, out it's, there. it's just something you know. I, I don't. <clears throat> Tell me, I, you know, I, I, I want to get graphic, but I know this type of show. I mean, I know the podcast. So I can't say yes. it's but just okay. Truth, fine, though, I'll be graphic just a little bit. Let me let me be yeah. just tell a little. Tell us the truth. We want to know. Or, right, right, right. So it's just the same, and you know, if you see a person and you know immediately, I'd have sex with him. That I'd let no. I'd have sex with her. You just know. Okay. Where you'll see another guy and be like, yeah, he wouldn't get it no matter what he tried. Yeah, right. You yeah. just know. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's all it is. You, I can't tell you that. It's first you do A, and then it's B when you see her. And then once her hair flips, and it's none of <laughs> it's none of those things. It's just when you know, you just know. That's what do you see, think you, it's you, a you character? Hear what you're saying, though, and I'm yeah, yeah. Like, looking for something that you got to say because it's there. It's no, there. I think well, it's, I, I think it's primal you, instinct with a man. I think it's their instinct. No, you still as don't a understand hunter. what I'm saying. What you can have because we do have hyper. Well, I mean, there, there, are, the women, there, there are, there are, there are things that you that you see that that attract you. Of course, you know, of course, the way Physical. she carries herself, physically, yeah. the way she uh, looks, um, the way you know. I even tell people, you know, what this person does and what this person does could be the exact same thing, but for some reason, I like it when she does it. Okay, you get what I'm saying. But, but you catch what I'm saying, though. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm sa telling you. Most women does the same thing. But it's right. how we can't look. Yeah, yeah, but okay. it's something that he yeah. said. But have you heard a man say, I saw her and I knew that was my wife? But I've he's heard. around a lot of women, of women, women. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so it's yeah. something, but she yeah. just said a, but, a, a deep ingredient is what I heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you understand yeah. I mean. when something else happened. But I also think it's depending on what he's looking for at the time. At the I've time. heard men say, you know, maybe they were out there dating, and this one woman, mm -hmm. her standards. I can see what that said, but okay. Okay, forgive me. No, go ahead. What's your? That's what matters is the most. Yeah, that's true. Oh, um, Miss Crystal, Crystal Thank you, Crystal. Woo, woo, woo. So, yes, so I daughter. Think, yeah, I think <laughs> it depends on where you are, because when I was an undergrad, I remember my professor saying, "Look, now that you're having this degree, if you decide to go higher, mm -hmm. your dating pool is going to shrink." Good why? Because your level, how you think, how you view the world, especially when it comes to black men, and that's true. Um, it's not nothing about dumbing down. It's just that yeah, how people right. how people see you as an educated black woman, your right. expectations and what you want, the places that you go, what you associate with. Not saying that you can't it, be hood could, with a degree. Most most women. Okay. If I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. Okay. Don't reach down. A, a man will reach down. He don't reach back. He don't necessarily have to marry the executive woman. If True. he's an executive guy, he'll reach down. You're saying uh, hypothetically now. Hypothetically, yeah, yeah, hypothetically. It's not a, it's not a hypothetical. We're just talking about general. You do general, that's yeah. For all men. You, yeah. you know that you that's not so? true because women do reach down. Damn, yeah, women do reach down. Women yeah. reach down from where, from, from where they are. It's like when you say when you go into that certain level that the pool gets smaller. Mm -hmm. You're gonna still swim in that pool. Yeah, or you gotta find another ocean and go and get out that lake and go into the. But it's gonna be 
on that level. It's going to be on that level. Right. You know. So why did, um, what is... Uh, the the professor, what? Cool. No, the did. young lady that was married to the richest man on this earth, Aza, be, tell me right. Ba you, Bezos. 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 <laughs> it, did he cheat? Wife, was he cheating? I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying about the wife. come up, though. Huh? No, 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 no. His wife that he divorced married a man that was just a school teacher. She oh, yes, used to that's right. Oh, yeah. See? $239 yeah. Yeah. million. Yep. Million dollars. yep. Yeah. And I well, think and also, she... I think also, what's his name? Um, Bill Gates' wife yeah. is, is, is seeing someone Down. at a, at a <laughs> lower level. Me so now. that goes but against what you're saying. That is not but, true. But here, here, they're white women, too. Their the mouth, oh, yeah. Okay. But, but here's the thing. With Bill Gates' wife, she knew that he was seeing, which... I mean, allegedly, 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 yeah, allegedly, yeah. allegedly, allegedly she, he allowed she, it, though. Or, or, or she, she allowed, allowed it. Allowed, right. Allegedly, right. Allegedly, 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 I can't, if I'm with you, I'm in a committed relationship. I can't, if we cannot be committed, then no, bye-bye. You know, but some people loosen their morals to just accept it because they feel like, especially some women, if you feel the guy can do something for you, you're going to hold on to their oh, life yeah, regardless of what he does. Oh, blessings, but you're selling right. your soul to the devil exactly. at the same time and you're not happy. And then and you're, they it's, don't it's like know their worth. What is it? Right. A trophy wife or a trophy girlfriend. Right. You know, and you see them. Right. Um, oh, they're dating so-and-so or they're, you know. Is that what you want to say that you're in a relationship? And it isn't even a healthy relationship. Well, if, if they you know if they could get something out of it, they will hold on for their life. You know, yeah. sometimes and are you satisfied? Sometimes that drive to get what you want will supersede anything. So people will do whatever they need to to get where they want to go. And so they they will. It, it doesn't matter. Trust me. You it has you know that. Nothing to do with love. It don't. You, can, you know what? As, they'll they'll just. They'll loosen their morals, loosen their values, loosen their worth to get whatever they want. You, you know, um, as you were talking, the name that came to me was Kelly Rowland from Destiny Child. I don't know yes. if you know the story about mm -mm. how she was dating a guy that had her locked in the house. No. Yeah, she was a victim of, allegedly, of domestic. And, and supposedly the guy told her, Beyonce can't help you, your family can't help Ooh. you. And I'm thinking, this story needs to get out because people think... Domestic violence or abuse only happens to people making 40K or right, less. Right, right. It can happen to, and, and I'm like, she's a beautiful woman. She's talented. But see, it's a mentality. It's a mentality. Yes. And now to see how she's she's married, right, she has two now, children. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just remember reading, and it hurt. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God. You know, like you see the person, you know, right. you're saying how beautiful, and they I have all that. was a lie, but you're saying it did happen. I, that's what she's saying. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So then allegedly, too. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. But the, the, the fact that she shared that story yes, because right. of her following and her platform, yes. uh -huh. I think when things happen like that and they share it, it in, should encourage other women or men who are being victims of any kind of abuse mm -hmm. to seek help. Yes. Church, yes, exactly. right. mental. But just Jesus. Jesus. Not Jesus, so much you know as church, but just yeah, Jesus. Jesus you, know, yeah. You're, you know, to go to your faith yes. and to understand and to ask for that protective order and to mm -hmm. ask for protection and to let people know this is what's going on because I don't think Beyonce or Michelle knew that she was that they, you know so what I'm wow. saying wow. and then finally oh, Solange Solange would have oh yes Solange oh she sure was she, she sure was, was. <laughs> she broke her knuckles <laughs> allegedly. Right. Allegedly. allegedly right 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 right, right. 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 you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then you know um, there's this word going around that I'm gonna tiptoe around about you know what's a high valued man yes. you yes. know. <laughs> uh, I know, I right? No, but uh, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. again, you know, what's a high valued woman? Sometimes you gotta check the source. Exactly. True. Uh, true. I, I, the like I said, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And and what do we see? Is it just about you know title, income, appearance? Yeah, it's not. There's because so guess many. What? There's so many things. Yeah. Yes. You know, and you know, I had somebody tell me, "Well, if I don't take you, you know, this is Atlanta." I said, "Yeah, this is Atlanta. You better be no, careful you that you don't get." But look, look, it's it's Atlanta, it's Atlanta but they're important. <laughs> But here's the thing, you're not gonna find another woman like me, and this is not both exactly. right, 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 right. Here's right, the thing, because right. you gotta know your worth. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And I said, you know need to your be worth. Cursed. You gotta know your worth, and you gotta know what's out there. I said, yeah, That's you it. haven't dated. I have been divorced for a long time, and I said, you gotta understand, dating is a process. Mm -hmm. It's a process of communication, talking, and find out. Now, if I see that you're hurt, 
and you're still carrying baggage for your another relationship, there is no way our relationship can grow right. until you deal with whatever issues. Now, some women be like, oh, you know what, girl? He's paying bills. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's there. So they we settle, they right? Settle and they, they loosen settle. their morals, they, they loosen, loosen their, their values, and, and they and, loosen and, their worth. Look, okay, but okay. they'll say it. They say, oh, I'm this. But, I mean, but they're not doing it. But they're right. not happy. They're not, you know what I'm saying? And deep it's down. Unhealthy. Right. But for family and friends, oh, she's in a relationship. But no. it's, a psycho it's a psychological yes. thing, and too, and ment mental health has a lot to do with it. So they loosen all of that just to accept this, right? So then subconsciously they get to the point where it's like you don't really know your worth that's it right. face yourself in the mirror do you, you really, really know, know your, your worth? worth what what yeah. of your morals do you really believe in god yeah. have you really okay. checked okay. with god yeah. 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 or because yeah. i've been there yeah, yeah. and have I've you been forgiven, like and have you forgiven yourself for situations that were out of your control right. and some of them that you may have caused yourself exactly have you forgiven yourself and say you know what god i give this to you and i you know, know. I mean, you know what i'm saying and right. here's the thing a lot of times we care you know how they you know the picture of the, they always have the woman with the baggage, but there are men with baggage. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? With the, with, you yes. know, until you say, okay, let's put it on the table. Now, I don't need the whole trunk load. At <laughs> right, 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 right. Let, let's, you know, Little let's, pieces. Let, let's do it in pieces and see what we can address. Right. Because there is some trauma that will have long-term uh, impact. Of course, it Because does. it can impact, let's say you have a child and you don't know that your husband was sexually abused. Well, if your husband doesn't say why they don't want your child going to... So and so's, so-and-so's house. house, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna think, well, so and so's fine with me, but they're not exactly. telling you so that. So just in telling, I was molested when I was a child they because still quiet. they haven't they dealt quiet. with that trauma. Mm -hmm. And and for men, you know, oh, that's, that's an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment. Of course, you know, and you can say, you can say okay, hey, he's vigorous, <laughs> he's tall, but. This person could have been not just you know we're no, going physical. Just, it could saying, be yeah. uh, mental, emotional, could, you know, whatever. emotional, it could be psychological, it could be sexual. Right. You know, think about you. That person has to be able to trust you. Here's the thing: Does that person trust you with their deepest, darkest pain and hurt? Thank you. And will that's you it. use that against them? But Here's see, the thing: Why people don't be though. honest? In. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If I tell you this, will you throw it in my face when you're mad at me? Mm -hmm. And that's the reason I would not uh, marry a white man. And that's strange. No, because, oh, they come good, honey, good. White and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because this guy. A50 practice. credit score. <laughs> Some I'm of serious. Them. This man. <laughs> you are right, 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 wait minute, right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was the bill? I said A50 credit, credit score. Oh, I ain't sending all that money. I'll make this man have 150,000 square feet. That's the props, the props. Hey, hey, you know, this kind of practice. Uh, and, and maybe that's it. And I tell him it had to be flesh because that's the only thing. Get, did, wait, at least you be honest. I'm in the light bulb deal. I, I would go there because I was in a car accident. And I guess chemistry. I don't know what in the world that was. But it's was chemistry. Like, did he did he remind you? Did he remind you of Shamar Moore? Oh no. <laughs> and you know what? I thank God again that I don't feel that for him because I, I I would get him. I'm serious. I'm so serious. But, but maybe hey, I fade or whatever. It. But no, I can't look at him like that because my ex, uh, um, is it an ex? The one I told you I had slipped and made a mistake with? Uh, yeah. Oh, he was fine. When I said fine, he was fine. She was, he, was, he was PH. PHI and not FIN. Right, 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 right. Pretty, right. No, pretty high and tempted. Right, right, right. You know, it, was, it was just, you know how you know something? I'm at a chiropractor. You know, some professional uh, ethics of it. Yes. They're not supposed and to mess the more with the more Because I could tell he was like, oh, oh. And he'd be so kind. And I like that about a man. If you polite, you respect me, it's just something about it. That's what get my attention more than anything else. But, and he was sensitive. <laughs> and when I'm he like, got through and I'm we sorry. were checking out everything, paperwork and everything. And he said, uh, uh, Miss Deborah. And you know how you discern maybe that's a gift thing again. <laughs> but I said, yes. He said, uh, could you come in the office a minute? He says, nothing, it's nothing. And all of a sudden he said, no. he said, would you be inclined to date me? Really? <laughs> wow. And that's and presumptuous. Mind, I'm, I'm <laughs> because you know what? At least I'm honest enough to know. Yeah. I would probably, in a fit of something, he's do something wrong, I would say the wrong word. And I said, no, because I would not want to hurt him. That's the only reason. Other than that, that man was fine as wine, honey. Better than a uh, nineteen forty two vintage. Oh my God, <laughs> Chardonnay. Oh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. I, but I and, said, oh, you know what? But I respected him. Mm -hmm. He said, "Okay, he's I understand." He really didn't, but you know, he had to accept it. But wow. tell me this, literally, and I really okay. do, because I don't even 
think I've been in love one time. But it's something about a man when he make, he think, because that's something, a pride thing in a man, mm. that you can take me somewhere that God can't take me. I'm about like Jesus said, you, what is, what's that part? I know he knows it. You remember when Herod was talking about where he could take his life? And mm -hmm. Jesus said, you can't take my life unless I give it to, to you. you. Mm -hmm. Literally, I heard that in my spirit. When I heard this man trying to say what he can take me to, and I heard God say he can't take you nowhere that would I allow him to do. And it was like inside of me. And I loved him. I, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But it just cut a light bulb off because it's like you done got above God. Mm -hmm. and you understand what I mean? Yeah. I knew my wet worth. And I was on this show that time when it happened. You probably was watching it. But I was sitting there, and you know that song by Marvin Winer? I'm over it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was so engrossed with this man, love inside of me. Oh, God, wow. I could melt off the thought of it. <laughs> and that song played. And I, I I saw it on that show, and I looked at it again. I felt it like something broke off me. Like when Marvin said it broke oh, away, uh -huh. and I, I've never felt it no more. Because mm -hmm. it was like, uh-uh. Because see, what happens, and you just said it. Is it you the can give yourself lust? So ins no, it's not lust. Understand again, mm -hmm. it's love. It's love. You would have do anything for him. You would have mm -hmm. gave yes. your morals for him, and God said not no. so. Mm -hmm. Wow. And God is a jealous God, mm -hmm. and you can't put there anything about you, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, when you're in a marriage and you're like, okay, I'll forgive you no matter what it is. There you go. That's and, it. and God says no. No, 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 no. No. You, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 that's you know so what I'm saying? true. That's because, true. Because here's the thing. Because of the commitment. Again. Yes. Again, you everybody, you know, it's a, not you, yeah, and I'm and I'm like, okay, I want it to work. Yes. But here's the thing, you both have to want it to work. Thank Can't you. one person there go to go. counseling and the person says that, or or you right. go That's to it. counseling and they don't want to listen to the counselor. Right. Because we tried that. We tried yes. the faith counselor and right. we tried the not, you know, yes. the traditional counselor. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand when a person has a sense of entitlement. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm. And you feel it. That you, you can you feel it. You know, and there's no matter I what do. you do. Just like a, a, a domestic partner who's abusive. Yes. You know, they'll no matter what you do, yes. they'll never be That's happy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I love you for who you are, no matter what no. you do wrong, but I'm not going to accept it. That's what it's all about. That's yeah. like Christ. Or, or, or the more you do. It's like that, too. Yeah. And that's and, not what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you heard it. Many people feel that grace is just supposed to cover me in all my sins. That's true. His mercy yes, covers, covers you in all your sins. Yeah. But when you get before the throne room of God and he find out you workers of iniquity, I never knew you because you never knew me. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Look at her. Look at the Amen. Word. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, and that's that's but I did. I, I, I mean, and not that I still don't love because I don't believe if you ever fall in love with someone, God has joined you together, God, you know, together with. Mm -hmm. That's why the word says it. Whomsoever God. Mm -hmm. George, you with God, God, right? Yes, and no man can put a song because you'll always be one, but you're not going to take your mess. Mm -hmm. you're, I'm gonna love you through mm -hmm. it, yeah. but I'm not going to take it, mm -hmm. right? Because that could destroy me, mm, can destroy you not just you, just family and more. There you go. Now, excuse me. Hey, yeah. psychiatrist. Hey, you know, <laughs> Listen, but you know, it's funny so, because my, oh, my boss keeps on tell, right telling me, we need. Uh, telling me about um. Focusing more on mental, because I'm finding a lot of my clients have mental health issues. Of course. Okay. Listen, you know, everybody almost have mental yeah. health issues. <laughs> Look at you. Okay. Seriously, because it's of you. the trauma, it right? It is a trauma. And in different levels, from childhood. To now, to work, to Exactly. Everything. You know what I'm saying? And right. learning things about people or how people deal with stress. Right. You know, and, and anger. And, and like some people will say, yes, I'm healed, I'm covered. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't really gone through the work mm -hmm. as as Pastor says, you know, really just say, God, all of this is going on. Please heal me. And then take it out of me. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But if you haven't gone through that process, and something, the reason when you know you're not healed, when something triggers you. Yes. Uh -huh. And sometimes you think you're healed, and then something you know, happens, and, and I it just, triggers you. I like, oh, I thought that. I was healed. <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> right. Like, you're still talking about that person, mm -hmm. and it's still yeah. bringing out bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Because now, like, I remember when I was going through my divorce, every time I talked about it, I cried. Wow. Because I felt, I, again, I felt like I was right. telling you, right. you know, and the pastor was like, why are you crying? Is my sermon terrible? And I'm like, mm -hmm. right. no, I just, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm like, I'm hurt, you know what I'm saying? And... I had to realize, okay, you're going through this. You're going to get over it's it, process, you know, and, right. and whatever, you know, because words are like nails. You know, have mm -hmm. you ever heard the, the thing, like, if you take a nail and you hammer it into a board and then you take it out, you still have the holes? Yes. That's how, how words, words that hurt you, yes. they still leave that wound and well, that scar. But 
thinking this with faith and love. I mean, I have the joy right now that I don't think I would have been able. And when I tell you, when you talk about how God provided and, you know, you gone through the loss mm -hmm. of your sister and, you know, you surviving divorce. I'm in the house right now, man. I'm like, oh, my God. I could have never for, but I found right. a paper where I had written like, you know, you write to God exactly. and say, God, I need this. And everybody who said that you wasn't going to get this, whatever, right. you proved them wrong. Exactly. You said, because they're like, well, how did, I said, because I trusted God and exactly. how would it happen? Trust you know what I'm saying? God. You got to trust God. Right. And you may not see, you know, what the Martin Luther King's faith is walking up the stairs where you don't even know where it's going to lead you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You see, yeah, yeah, right, right, you know right. right. So, and people, and when you try to encourage them, people are like, I can't do that. And you're like, Yes, you can, but when you're ready. Right. Here's the thing. You like we're talking here and we're hoping and we're praying that someone will get something to mm -hmm. encourage them, hopefully get out of uh, a, a, a situation, situation. Right. You right. Know, that will not end their life or the life of their children. Mm -hmm. Um that they'll learn see as a testament. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing about testimony for me. Go ahead. Testimony is a test. Mm -hmm. Oh, it always is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you can tell. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I have the testimony that I'm standing here by mm -hmm. his grace and oh, mercy and, the, grace and, God, the, right. and the prayers of my grandmother right. who knew what I was going to need before I knew. I don't know where this woman prays all the time. Right. Every time I would visit, my grandmother was all, you know what I'm saying? Always yes. interceding. And my mother, and I remember my mom would say, when you leave the house, you need to pray. When you're in the car, you need to pray. When you come right. back to the door, you need to thank God. And I mean, how many of us have been driving? So if it wasn't by the grace of God, that car wouldn't exactly. Or exactly. I mean, like you hear about the shooting on the highway. And exactly. you're like, oh, you know, I don't, I try not to even watch the news at night because if I need the exactly. weather, I'll check my phone. You right, know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's his mercy and being around like-minded people or saying, hey, I just want to encourage you. Or yes. maybe you send, send something. Like I have a, another girlfriend here, like every day we send each other words of encouragement. Right, yes. right. And again, sharing that. And someday she'll be like, you know what, this was right on time. Mm -hmm. Or you call somebody, you know. And you don't know what that person's going through. You could have known them 20, 30, right. 40 years. Right. But they're going through something that it's between them and God. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh -huh. And it might be a child acting up. Mm -hmm. It might be something at work. It may be a health issue. And you have to say, whatever it is, I don't need to know all your business. Right. But just know that I'm praying. And some people will say, well, I don't want everybody praying for me because I don't know what your heart is. Listen. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, that, and, and I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I could right. say, hey, whatever your situation, is it okay for me to bring in a prayer group? And I have people say, no. Mm -hmm. I've talked to you about it. I trust you to pray with exactly, on me. And I right. said, well, let God's will be done. Because yeah. what you're praying on may not be what the will of God, exactly, will of God is. Right. And you need to understand. And right. it might be letting something go that you're holding on to that, right. that you yeah. don't need to hold exactly. on to. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So the hurt and the pain. and Like you you spoke a prophetic word where you were like, hey, I got married at 17. I was mm -hmm. married for 20 years and I knew. It was, but you accepted that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we don't accept. Like I can tell you, I accept the fact that. I shouldn't have got married at 21. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? I should have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I should have asked, for, you know, and I love the fact that I have good women. Like I was, when I didn't know what was going system. on. Right. But I had a girlfriend that says, I hate, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think your husband is cheating on you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because I, nobody told me what signs, you know, you could read. And then I started reading. Here's the thing. Mm. A lot of us don't read until either we're going to prison or until we're in a situation. Mm. And then somebody, you know what I'm saying? Hey, read this book, girl. Right, you know right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Read it before. Right. Or if you got to for a class, right. so what do you do? You skim through it. You right. Read the back. Okay, <laughs> ready for the test. Okay, right. I'm good. You know right. what I'm saying? But when I started reading, like I started reading Michael Bayesden, and I started reading like legal books and, yeah. you know, about property. And mm -hmm. what's a community property state, and how long you got to be married about social right. security? I was like, oh, okay. So, so, so I was telling the, you know, when I was telling the the lawyer going court, like, no, he, you can't represent him because I saw you before, and you. And the lawyer was like, oh, really? You know, I was like, and I know that, that you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And I know, you know, and I started right. speaking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and one of the other things is asking questions because just because somebody work in the courthouse, that clerk. She could be working there 20 years and she could still she give know, you bad right. advice. Yes, Not those, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah she, wow. she can't, get, you know what I'm saying? So ask, don't be afraid to, yes, ask, ask why question. or research or go find Certainly. out. Like a lot of people don't know, like if you are in jail and let's say you owe child support, you could have your lawyer file a petition so they can hold your child support so you're not 
catching up on rears because you don't have a job. Right. right. So right. when you get that. nobody the knows it, no way. Because so the that. criminal lawyer really is not doing civil law, mm-hmm. so they you know not, you don't talk right. about. It. And depending on what if, if it's an immigration issue, let's say your grandfather is American, but they but your dad is African, but because your grandfather is American, you're technically still an American because right. your grandfather. Okay, you get a charge, and they're talking about deporting you. Mm-hmm. But if somebody doesn't know to talk to the immigration right, attorney, exactly. Guess what? That's it. Now. That's but true. But it's talking right. knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, and then you as a paralegal or the office manager has to tell the lawyer hey you we need to get exactly. and i've had that situation like we need to get right you know what i'm right. saying or you have a person who's getting out and they lived with their parents who lives in subsidized housing right guess what they can't go to All subsidized right, housing because that's right. a violation yes. because that person is a convicted felon right that's it you know, well, I'm not practicing law. I'm not an attorney. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just giving information. I'm yeah. just sharing. You know what but I'm saying? I, I think, too, if you have, if you do have some friends around you, they can't be friends that the mentality is not there. So mm-hmm. now they're giving you bad advice. No. You know? I, I've, I've always said, if a man wants to judge a woman, look at who her friends are. All mm-hmm. right. You know? One thing I've told my daughter, I said, none of my girlfriends ever called me at one or two o'clock in the morning and told about, girl, get your Vaseline on, put your sneakers on, we're about to bust some windows, you know. <laughs> right. I don't associate, I, I've associated with me. You know you got to get the fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sometimes you know, when do it, it's, it's time to, you to know. To fight, to run, like say oh. you're shooting, bust some windows. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got to school Vaseline. You got to school Vaseline. You don't get funny. scratched up, so you got Vaseline if they try to get out. No, <laughs> you from up north. I don't yeah, think they yeah, know about yeah, the Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the stickers on and Vaseline and wear gloves so no fingerprints. So right. Like <laughs> no, but, but you know, but you got to look at who you associate because if you associate with unlike minded women, right. you know what I'm saying? Like all my girlfriends, because I went to school. You know what I'm saying? They decided to go to school. I had one girlfriend mm-hmm. that says, no, I want my kids. I said, okay, what happens when they leave the house and they get married? Right. What are you going to do about the job? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do if you want to start your own business? Then you can know your pro- for your profession, for your promotion, if you want to stay, fine, you stay. If you want to go out on your own, you got your degree and you mm-hmm. got it on government time. And if they're paying for your tuition, it's a win-win. Right. You're right. not going to be in student loan debt. So I had, you know, what I learned, I share. Like, hey, if you can get a grant, you get a scholarship, oh, yeah. you know, do it knowledge so you can do knowledge is power and is. we cannot be selfish with the knowledge that we have mm-hmm. it's a disservice right you know we have to tell our kids hey your first house doesn't have to cost three hundred thousand, depending right. on where you live right. you know what i'm saying get the house if you can get a house under a hundred thousand live it in for five years if you can make it a rental seller exactly take some of that income invest it you yes. know let's talk let's yeah. talk about you know the tax breaks let's talk about having other professions i just tell my kids do you know one of the easiest businesses to start is a lawnmower? You get one simple lawnmower and a shovel. Right. During the summer, you cut grass, and in the winter, if there's some snow, you shovel, and then you start building. Oh, my God. You know, and it's a humbling. You right. know, people think, oh, you know, I have to have that that job where my car is detailed and I'm wearing it. <laughs> no, start with something real simple. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's, you it's learn, the and then process. learn a trade. Right now, there are, like, millions of jobs in um, construction. Like draft, yeah. drafting or whatever, and, and you don't even have to climb a rafter. You could, right. you know, you could design, right. you know, air, AC compressors. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. There are jobs that you could do that don't require a master's. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and right now, and a lot of people don't know, STEM is is really big, and a lot of STEM you can learn um, to be a scrum master, all of these different titles that are just certificates yes like microsoft has google exactly has a, you know what they, I'm saying? they, they don't, don't even want the degree right now no. because you can learn trust me i can get people into different programs in fact that that young lady that does the cmos i i consulted with her and i got her into a program through the urban league that she's going to start in august because i'm all about helping people with business just, business is my and i teach that class those so classes what would too doing, i mean what would she be doing with learning her about her CMOS? learning about a business making her business like well, like her business real plan, business and her her marketing and the sales oh, okay. yeah. right yeah. so i teach the marketing branding sales and 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 promotion class et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. and so she'll learn about um business make creating business plans yes. I, I like to set people up just as long as someone tells me what is their vision for their there company the sky's the limit. All my clients do well. And that's just a God, God. Yeah, that's a gift. It's a God, God gift. Yes. That's why I said this is confirmation. Because I didn't know that you were a life coach. I didn't know you did marketing as a business. Yeah, so I'm known as the brand success the, coach. The brand success. <laughs> Hello. Hello, the brand successor. Thank yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? And so you see how everything, me meeting you at the salon and having the conversation. Because look, if my conversation was totally, was totally different, 
I you would never listen to him. I'm saying you, right, you exactly. Barely, barely and even everybody in there is just I, like, and I pulled. And yeah, I, okay. pun, when I talk, people listen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, pun, yeah, pun, no game. <laughs> Um, Nowhere associated with you. Have okay. <laughs> but a question now, yeah. since I, I yeah. see that your attributes in your uh, vernacular is life co coach. Tell me a little bit about life, life coach and what can you do okay. as a, a life coach? Okay, a life coach is basically, it's another form of, I don't want to say therapy, but similar. What you have is a person tells you their goals mm -hmm. and you sit down with them and say, okay, let's make out a plan. How are we going to do this? Okay, you say you want to be a nurse. Is that let's, the same thing? What? Brand? She, no, 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 no. So no. she's a life coach. I'm the brand success That's coach. Right. Yeah, but I, she, I still, I, I base everything off of finding out what is their vision for themselves. And once they tell me that, sometimes they're thinking too small. Oh, okay. Now and yeah, yeah. yeah. So coach. my 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 life coach is how to change. So it might be a relationship, how to heal from divorce. Okay, what are the goals? So it's you know how to all life. Oh yeah, over over and a lot. She's more or less what you're marketing, marketing and branding and, and getting to, to the next. Yeah, but I level. also I also delve into health because sometimes okay. people come to me. So it's mind, body, and spirit. So, okay. And they can't manage their business if they're stressed out and struggling. So no, I tell and they them, can't look, balance their books. Exactly. So I tell you, you're gonna have to pause for a minute. Go meditate, meet with God, take a break, mm -hmm. breathe, and come back. That, because if you drop dead, it don't oh, matter what we do. You matter. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So life coaching basically helps a person plan. Okay. And they say, okay, say you want to become a nurse. If you don't have your GED, how are we going to get you into the nursing program? <laughs> right, okay. right. Okay, so let's do the baby steps. Okay. Are you, you know, and I can say, oh, let's go take a, a analysis. You know, now they have these career things online. Let's see if you really want to go to nursing. Because here's mm -hmm. another or thing. Or if you belong I, in yeah, there, right. There's a lot of people say, oh, you know, nursing right now, they, they're making $30, $50 an hour yeah, because it's the hype to get yeah. into nursing. But you can't stand blood. There you go. Right. But that's how, why I'm not a psychiatrist. Right. I'm serious. In school, I was just, oh, I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> and when we went into the what you call it is the internship uh-huh did you, you, had, you had to do six months inside the hospital and i remember when i went in there <laughs> and i remember to the day because I, I laugh about it every time right. I see it in my mind i went to the hospital and this was for something else so to let you know and everybody laughs but i'm coming through the emergency room and all of a sudden i heard the ambulance mm -hmm. and all of a sudden i went running trying to find okay let me escape this and ran right into the emergency Elevator where the guy had just come into oh, the Alabama no. and I almost fainted. Oh gosh! Oh, because wow. I saw number of blood, and <laughs> oh, I just no. laughed. I laughed. I almost. In fact, they caught me, and I guess this is what shook me back up. And they said, "What's wrong? Why are you in here?" For one thing, that was a question. I said, "No, I was trying to run away from the ambulance because it was blood." And, and the nurse right started laughing. Oh gosh! <laughs> but you no, not right in it. the yeah. way, but she was laughing. And, and she was talking, she said, what are you going to be in your life? And I said, I'll be a psychiatrist. She said, oh, no, you won't. Mm -hmm. She just said, just like that, you'll never be. What, Not in the sense of looking you... down, but she said, you can't even stand blood. But, but still, a, a psych, I'm sorry, a psychiatrist, psychiatrist has to deal with you know, blood? They're the one that uh, give you prescriptions. Prescriptions, and, and like they have to do the analysis, and, and they have, have to, to see people. certain things that you, you have to see all Yeah, this. and you have to see when the people, person is manic, when they're, they're Okay, so when they're so in the hospital, in the just hospital. in case. Okay, yeah, I understand I was now. Different. I don't know what it was. What was I there at the hospital, Everett County Hospital for? That's what I wanted. It had to be set up by God, because that was the only time I was in the hospital. Right. Wow. wow. Yeah. But, honey, I don't like to see blood at all. See, okay, so. but I learned when I was what 17 years old, <laughs> right? But, well, look at God, yes, He teaches me all the things I need, but I depend on Him for one thing. But no, now let's I got to go this way, Miss Life Coach. Addictive behavior, what is that? Addictive behavior you, could you be anything, but, but okay. you got to let someone know because okay. they don't when, understand when someone, that. Okay, a person having an addictive behavior is something that is not for their well being, it could be. Um, overspending, like some people do stress buying, you know, they, you hear people go, okay, when I'm stressed, I go shopping and then they, they incur debt. Mm -hmm. It could be, everybody think addictive behavior deals with only drugs. It's not just drugs. It could be eating. It could be sex. It could be sex. Mm -hmm. Um, not leaving the house, being antisocial, yes. you know, where they limit, um, sometimes OCD behavior where you wash your hands 50 million yeah. times. Clean up all the time. time. Let me move yeah. this. Let me move it back. That, let me yeah, move it. Yeah, okay. let me change the furniture. Let me paint. <laughs> um, there, there, I mean, it comes in so many different shapes and forms. 
Um, and sometimes it, it is treated with medication. Again, I'm not oh, a psychiatrist. Um, unfortunately, I hate to say this, a lot of times, now we're starting to get into the holistic. I mean, it's always been there, but I think mainstream has always been like with any kind of behavior, um, attention deficit or any kind of behavior or mental health disorder is medicine because the neurons in the brain. Mm -hmm. So now we're realizing you really don't need, in some, in some, in some situations, cases, in right, some cases, because right. there's some people who are extremely bipolar with their addictive behavior. Or their schizophrenic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where the holistic, holistic version is how you, how you calm the mind down. Okay. Um, your caffeine intake. What are your stressors? What causes? Allergies to food. food. Yes. People don't realize that too. Okay. Yeah. So you got to find out what is, what's the cause to make you behave? Because everything has a cause, you know. Um, maybe the reason that you have to spend $150 on sneakers is because when you were a kid, your mom never bought you any sneakers and you were never mm -hmm. allowed to wear certain things. And now you feel that you're entitled, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or the reason that you're engaged in certain behaviors with men or women, not because just because you're promiscuous is because you feel the need to love mm -hmm. and you feel that and way. And that's physical. Could stem from molestation should, as a child. Yes, now you holding true. on in relationships, yes. but woo. that are unhealthy. Yep, you know, for you or the person who's the predator because they're yes. unattractive. That's so it. what they do is they roofie women or they roofie men, yes. and they sleep. I mean, they're it's, it's a gamut. It's, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, because exactly. you you could start off and they're like, okay, how did this? start mm -hmm. right and this behavior could have started when they want were young that's but true. nobody picked up on it right right that's you know true. what i'm saying you may think you may not even realize you're Just with like a predator it, it could have been a, pr a trauma that they kind of blocked out of their minds but it's still in the subconscious so now it's ruling well the, look at what's life. going on now with a lot of young people that now believe and think that god made them homosexualities and i don't want to go that way but i know it has to come up it has to mm -hmm. because a lot of children were molested as little boys Oh, girls. And, and, but it's a spirit. You're looking at that yeah. again. Because, right. you know, you look at the works of the flesh and you see effeminate, mm -hmm. uh, lasciviousness. All of it surrounds about spirits. But you see a lot of men that are homosexual because they were molested as a child. Right. Yeah. And then you have a lot of men who are bisexual okay. and not letting and endangering women. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And you have older men mm -hmm. who may not be bisexual, but or but, but but here's the thing: they're sleeping with younger women, yes. unprotected, mm -hmm. yes. and they're bringing the disease yes. home. Boom. And Yes. And now that's why the black and brown community has a very high age rate. Ooh, and we're not discussing this. Yes. Oh, my God. You yes. Listen, you have said a word, okay? Because do you know that people are not thinking about diseases at no. this time? No, and they yeah. should be. Oh. Someone said, I was watching a podcast, and someone said, oh, oh, this person has AIDS? Oh, let me go get something, some medication from the store. Well, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> and there's so many people going, walking around where people have given them herpes, Yes. Yeah. And, that's a and they're and so when everyone yeah, having yeah, sex with everyone else, else and you're not, not thinking about these things. Not. There's you, AIDS, and then, there's all, nothing. They're not asking questions. They're not no saying have you asking questions. Here's the thing. They're not saying were you recently in jail? Did you get raped in jail? Uh -huh. Did we you know like the young woman this, who was in, in and jail you don't who know, died so if you and have, they found out that they use um hand sanitizer allegedly allegedly okay to give her a rape exam and she died oh my because God. you know what i'm saying allegedly you know well, no, so okay well i have to say it. allegedly because oh, you right, know right, you know right. so About i don't because right. now yeah. people are quick to sue and i ain't yeah, got no oh, money oh, pay, you know right. so everything yeah. but again they're not thinking they're, they're about not it at thinking all. Oh, and then you, like you said you said mentioned earlier about women who have men move in and then they're raping their daughters yeah. or their sons right and and the mother or the father whoever has blind cousin, eye to it blind eye and don't mm -hmm. believe them right you know what i'm saying right and it's it's it it's it's, it's a traumatic sick, it's a it's sickness a, and it's a spirit it's honestly a, definitely it's a spirit. because how can you not think about all of these things they haven't gone away aids is still aids i don't Very care if there's yes. a medication for it who no, wants they, to they have, have a lot they have a medication now that you can very slightly see the symptoms some of them you know, yeah i've seen a commercial where it says it reduces but, the yeah, but, yeah, but does it but make it okay for know, someone to keep on sleeping with because everyone technically and you know this too if a person has it and gives it because there was a guy in maryland allegedly what he would do is he would meet women online <laughs> yeah they, they do that all the time they meet women online but this guy purposely told women that he would not use any protection and women were still but he knew he had aids but right. they got him on several counts of 
deliberately, yeah. pro, you know. Yeah. You so know if you're messing around and you're with, you're you're with this, with you're with this person and oh, that yeah, person but, is sleeping with somebody else and they sleeping with somebody else, then it's but, all a but cocktail. Here's, here's, but yeah, see, but here's saying, I bet you mostly that those kind of people probably are clean, so they feel the person they're gonna sleep with is clean. clean but they're not asking questions. But here's the know. thing: let's let's get away from AIDS. Let's talk about Herpes, the the, the spirit stuff. that people bring from other relationships, <laughs> girl. If you don't address that, if they have anger and, oh, yes, you know what I'm saying, that mm -hmm. spirit will come into oh, yeah. your relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. And some people will not say, hey, I noticed that you're still carrying something from before. Because people are good at covering. But when people you call it, masking, but, but here's masking. the thing. Because of what I do, I, I'm a very direct person. Yes. And a lot of people are not. They're not and not they people are, are the fake. Thing. We they talked about. We we yeah. Right. But here's the thing. When you are a direct person, people are threatened because people have allowed them because, you know, they smile, they drink, they party, they're having fun. And you're like, you're hurt. You're so right. That's it. You're hurt. And I know you're hurt. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think, let's be friends and let's deal with this hurt until we can move on. And they're like, no, right. I'm fine. And like I mean, some people know, jump out of like a relationship and go right into another one. Like you the, need time. To you need time. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, and I tell anybody, six months a year, if it takes, you know, one of my most serious relationships, it took me three years. I didn't date anybody for three years. Because I worked need to on heal. Because you have to. I had to it's heal because must. I was still. It's a Here's must. the thing. I'm a person, I believe that when you start a relationship, it should start on a basis of friendship. Because I think if you don't have that platform, because even if it ends, it at least you have a friend. Mm -hmm. Now, some people say, hey, when it ends, it's over. I don't want to talk to him. I don't you don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. You might be blind. And that's to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, But right. if I became friends with your family, I went to graduations. I know your mama. You know what I'm saying? Let's say your mama needs something one day. And I might be the connection that you need. Right. I don't want you not to talk to me because we are no longer together. Right. So right. You're, I, I don't think that's how it should work. Right. That's, that's just me mm -hmm. personally. I you know, agree. But now suppose, hypothetically. <laughs> oh, the pins. Uh, oh, okay. I, I know, know what you're about to is. say. I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. No, what do you think I'm going to say? What if that person was uh, abusive? Oh, Maybe. No. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I guess right now, and I know everybody do not think like this, okay. but I guess that's the reason why I don't even waste time with men. And and they don't understand when I say this. And and a lot of people may hear it and say, who she thinks she is? Like she's just all that a bag of chips. The point of it is, I've noticed that the now some devil's been coming. When I said devil's the mm -hmm. dogs. Mm -hmm. But, um. The men that attract to me, they're good men. Because, you know, I'm not going to mess with no men. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and even the one I told you I made a mistake with, mm -hmm. he, uh, he was good. Like I said, I'm, and I ain't talking about no sex. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me but he was, a good, he was a good person. Uh -huh. Very yes, good. good. Okay. That but the two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't even that either. Because, like I told you, we did, we, when I said barely, and then maybe that's what made him migrate to sleep with another woman. Because it is. He said, because you won't, you know. But the point of it is, he ended up being saved and getting married. Well, he was a dog. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. He ended up saying, no, I'm ready to stop this and be married. So I know what behind mm -hmm. this because he saw my what I stood for. for mm -hmm. Yes. But see, that's what I'm saying now. Now, I don't even want a man unless if he don't come in the spirit of God, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, because you know why? My dad knows right. certain mm -hmm. things ain't going to take. Mm -hmm. So he's knowing if I'm willing to commit myself totally to him, he's going to give me the best. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm willing to wait for it. So it's now mm -hmm. been 20 some years, so I don't mind waiting. Wait. And I know the best one's going to come. Yeah. And I've seen a lot, when I said best ones, and understand, a lot of people say, oh, ain't nobody perfect. Mm -hmm. The point of it is, he's perfect for me. Right. He's going to be so next to God. Now, God mm -hmm. first. Yeah. You love him more than anything, but then he's going to love me next. To God than right. anything. He's not going to cut out on me. He's not going to commit anything that's unjust according to the word of God. Right. So I'm willing to wait. If he's not out there, then okay. See you in heaven. Yeah. You yeah. see the difference of it? Mm -hmm. But see, too many women are so weak and willing to um, double down for just to have some feelings. It it to be in a loose, relationship. Loosen their morals. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But because forgiveness works in a relationship. Too. Too, yes. Forgiveness so of what, though? What do you mean? Whatever. Whatever he does or whatever she does. So no, because you know why? If you, if you, God, God is not, no. One thing about it, if God know what I want, he ain't going to give me less. But see, that's what you're saying. saying. What you're saying is that people make mistakes. People make mistakes. And, okay, and some again, people you're have healed. Though, uh, but you're not, you're not listening right. to what I'm saying. <laughs> but again, God's not going to give you nothing that's going to hurt you. If he yeah. knows. I ain't, I, and understand when I say this. Look at who God told Isaac 
And he also told where to find Rebecca. The problem of it is men don't want to wait on God. They want that lust. Right. It's Whatever they spirit. lust after, they go after. But I, I'll go even further. I think women tend to forgive more if the man should stray or make a mistake Thank than, you, than a man. Than I'm a, sorry. A man. I, I think it's a, so you I think it's a to double standard. Let the man do yeah, it I think, and not I think let the woman. It's still, it's still forgiving, but I think but for too, a but man. But that's because to, you yielded to it. God, you didn't have to. You got a choice, just like in the Garden of Eden when God said not to touch that tree. You chose to do something and disobey God. But what I'm saying is forgiveness is still... It's not that you didn't forgive him, but it's, it's not that you didn't forgive him, but why would you even allow when God's saying you don't have to? Well, allow, you got to speak to the individual. Well, I'm talking but again, about... if God gave it to me and told me, he's able to keep that that I commit to him. But then, then, then if you mentioned the Garden, then everybody was... We was corrupt from the beginning. Yeah. Because but but again, that's why he gave you grace. That's why he gave you grace. And, and the then he gave you a little bit more power because when he went up to heaven, he said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to send you something so well, you can live it, exactly what I'm telling you to do. In mm -hmm. your marriage, did you ever forgive him for anything? Everything. So then that's what I'm saying. But no, he didn't do nothing, though. That's the point. <laughs> so what was there to forgive? Everything. No, no when, I, when I say he catered to me. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. The problem of it was he didn't understand. He listened to the people tell him, him she's doing this, this, and another. Oh, lies. okay. The influence That's by what other caused people. the whole problem. problem. Okay. I was committed so, to him. Yeah, the, yes. To the but, end. Okay. But but he listened to outside and because, wasn't. Okay. Okay. There you go. But God and and nothing. but but here's the thing. God does he, nothing and none of it. Yeah. But no, but, had, but, but he gave me what I wanted. A man that was going to be faithful and committed. But then how how do you get to the point of forgiveness then? There's communication, right? Mm -hmm. So if the person and you can communicate. Yeah. Thank so if the person doesn't go. communicate, then it's harder to forgive if they're not saying nothing. Thank you. You understand? Well, well, like well, what about it, the apology? Like yes. well, but they here's apologize. The thing. But here's the thing. A person could apologize and like you said about the forgiveness. And be but sincere. You, and sincere right? about it. But if until that person says, okay, I can actually. Because the person can say, I'm sorry. But if you, every time you get mad at that person. And oh, no, no, we, no. We'll, we'll keep but, on bringing it up. Right. Then, no, no, then, then no. you really it forgive would, them. It would be done yeah. if the person is sincere and actually says, you know what? I apologize. I am. And be sincere. Mm. Really? I mean, he's what being. That, I think what, what, what I, this, you know what? what I think you're being honest because a person could say, "I apologize," but they don't. It's already done. You know what I'm saying? And then the what? Is done. done. You know what I'm saying? But, but here's the what? thing: why you can forgive come, him. Why she didn't come uh, to him? With, uh, with, why? But what's wrong with just time? Time. Yeah, time you heals all wounds. But there you have. But you can still have a conversation though. And today, forgive it. Time. Time does regardless of what. What, Man you know, says, it, yeah. It heals all wounds. It does, but, but do not say, sit there and be but, quiet. But you have to though. It, you, you do have to exactly. But guess what? Some people don't have that conversation. Like, you know, you may know that that spouse is cheating, or you may know that person has you a You need but, to have but the you don't conversation. Have, but it, it takes strength. It takes, so it, it it takes a lot of strength to say, hey, it. this is going on. And the person may, you may say, I see that you have a problem. And the person may say, no, I don't have no problem. Because I've heard people say, well, my daddy drank and my uncle drank and, and true, my grandfather drank true. and I'm not drinking. And, and you're like, no, if you have to have a drink every day, you have a drinking problem. Of course, and it's of unhealthy. Course. But for them, in their eyes, they're like, oh, you just are the, you know, slow Sally. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, I, but I, you, I mean, I'm just using that example. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it's, it, it, I'm not just saying it's a religious thing. I'm saying I don't need alcohol or cigarettes for me to have a good time. And that right. person... That person, but that person in their norm, because That's everybody right. in their family does it. And you're like, I cannot have children or raise you in this environment because I realize that, number one, alcohol is a depressant. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you need it to, to function, right. to suppress something. something. Right. And usually when you get to a certain level, that's well, when your truth comes out. True. Now, some true. people can, so right now, some people can socially, some give people, me no. Give me a little Moscato. I mean, I mean, I mean, okay. no. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, but still, you know what I'm saying is when the person drinks and they become verbally abusive, they're I'm saying the thing they do. that they, they, they do. really want to say. Right. That, yes. that they won't, like... Like but, but see, the why it's like exactly, but but with me, mm -hmm. I, I think we're taking one thing and we generalize it across. Right, and we shouldn't, and, and we don't it, it don't work for everybody. True. and some people can drink and have not no and issues. No you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but some people, because but when you're for talking, some people, what, it's a, uh, uh, what I've heard a uh, uh, cheap vacation. It's just a way to get away and then come back and deal with life again. 
No, but that's fine as long as you're not. I see your advantage. I really do, but. Right. Drink something right now. I'm good. I don't. My my issue is that I've dealt with for the past few years. Got dealt with. I'm good. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. When I speak about healing, y'all was mentioning healing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think don't some please don't say don't you're healed. Say, don't get to the point where they heal and think you got to still be healed. I'm healed from whatever it was. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Really? I'm it's in the past. You forgot those it's, things. You, you let, it, you let it, it, it is behind you. But a lot of people are hurting and don't know it. That's of course, they right, they right. Have, they have, what you call it, they have hidden it. Well, yeah, it's know. hidden, it's yeah. hidden. You just don't know. Oh, yeah, you, you don't address don't it. Until, until or, something or, or you see it. it because of your environment, you see it as, oh, that was something normal. normal. Or right, that's right, normal. Right, 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 right. Or this attitude, okay, I'll use this example. Of this attitude, we have a lot of young people thinking going to jail or prison is a norm. It's a, it's a status. Right, but right, But what right. is not talked about is what happens in the jail, in yeah. the prison. Well, either in and the it, jails or just what you got to deal with for the act of The math, you know, or the, 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 the trauma, just not just the mental or being put in solitude mm-hmm. or, you know, uh, of having a record, not seeing your children. Um, are people going to jail for other people? Because, right. hey, right. You that know happens And that happens right. a lot because yeah. of fear of what could happen to my family. Or, excuse me, by saying... Or they don't snitch. Yeah, right, exactly. right, right, right. So and they don't realize you not snitching is not really helping you. You no, know what I'm saying? And you're doing right. time for somebody. who did 20-something years for not snitching. Mm. For something... Well, never mind. Okay. But, but yeah, I still... Saying, yeah. I, I still <laughs> think I, that the... i some, you know, being in that arena now. Yeah, a lot of them. I still feel that the art of communication... Because even if something happened right Mm -hmm. i feel like you can have a conversation without going crazy you know have a conversation and come to an agreement okay but here's the thing in pleasant yeah but here's the thing but let me tell let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you when it comes to having a conversation okay what are you saying well because so when we're talking about forgiveness no let's go back okay let me go let me go back forgiveness forgiveness and communication we as women we talk more than men like let's say we had it's three of us women here we have this one gentleman here mm-hmm. let's say we had three men here oh. we would get a totally different a different say, conversation different conversation yeah, that's true. because right. because here's the thing at an early age we're talking we're mm-hmm. read to right boys play i mean yeah, you know you know what i'm saying but and they there is something that he mentioned and he said mm. That in in a relationship and a forgiveness, Mm -hmm. right? Uh And you said that women forgive easier than men, and he agreed. But he's saying that the forgiveness happens, right? And so Mm -hmm. you just let it go. But if there's no communication, so if you're being quiet, Mm -hmm. and then I want to talk, and you're just going to be quiet, Mm -hmm. how does forgiveness happen if there's no communication? Well, I mean, again, that's just the same as in... uh, kind of the same so don't mm-hmm. make me think as i'm saying no it's the same you're good that's the same if someone a loved one or at whomever passed and mm-hmm. you didn't get the closure you needed mm-hmm. right. you couldn't get the forgiveness from them but somewhere along the line over time mm-hmm. through whatever process that needs to take place it can come yes because the ultimate forgiveness isn't for me anyway mm-hmm. it's for you who need to the, the, for the forgiveness, yeah. but I think and so the person you, that hurt you will may yeah. never say that. I'm sorry. Go to sleep and wake, we'll up, wake tomorrow. up. And guess what? Mm-hmm. I cannot remember her. This uh, gospel singer, and I remember she said, "You're trying to make this relation. You ask God to remove this person from your life, um, and the person has moved on. But then you're crying for them to come back, mm-hmm. and they don't hurt two or three yes. other people. Yes. You know that song? It's yes. a gospel song. It's an mm-hmm. old song." They've already hurt two or three other people after you because they don't wrong. see yeah, they that they've done anything right. wrong. You right. know what I'm saying? And even on. if you told them, like, you said, why the communication? For some men, okay, I cheated. I'm over it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. That's it. Right. But women want to know why. Was she yeah. pretty to me? What did yeah. she do? How did it happen? How long has it been going on? Right. Will it happen again? Right. Well, some you guys want to know that, too. Yeah. <laughs> men too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean... And if, a, mean, if, if, if the a woman, woman heard admits, them, yeah, oh, if a okay. woman, or, or let's say a woman does admit, yeah, I cheated, you know, and this is what happened, and it was retaliatory or whatever, and we're getting over it. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, we as women have evolved, and some of us have been doing the same thing men right. have doing it, but just didn't get caught. It is what it is. Yeah, but okay? it, but again, but w- whether you the men are the cheaters, and it's not true. But whether you have the conversation or not, mm-hmm. ultimately, you are the one who have to do the forgiving. 
It doesn't even matter. That's the saying. I know you've all heard it. You drinking poison and then hoping the other person, person will die. die. The forgiveness, if I don't want to get forgiveness, doesn't matter. You still have, it's on you to do the forgiving. You get oh. what I'm saying? If you're the hurt person and I choose not to apologize. talk about it, apologize, whatever the case is, or vice versa, if you hurt me and you don't want to talk to me, mm-hmm. I have to seek out the forgiveness mm-hmm. because ultimately I'm walking around Hurt, hurt. Damn it. Yeah. and That's you true. going to sleep Damn at night it. and yeah. hanging out with your friends and That's waking up Damn tomorrow and going to work lolly dotty, but I'm still crying and doing all that. But ultimately, somewhere along the line, I got to be like, hold up, dude, you got to relax yeah. and get up and 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 and, and act like you, you know, know. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so and you it, have to address with the hurt. But here's the thing. You also have to decide: Do you stay in that relationship? That, that well, is, I mean, but now okay. now we're talking about in the same relationship. But we're just yeah. talking about talking about something where something may have just parted ways. Yeah. But yeah. but no, even but in a relationship, like, but yeah, even, of course you gotta. Well, I'm not just talking about intimate partners. I'm talking about in families. There have been situations where you gotta let people go in your. Family, I have where not. You, not just uh-huh. the one spoon. You have to say because of this person. Now, everybody may think you know cousin. And you can still you know them, but my, you, but you got my right, cousin. Right, right. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? You have to say right. because of this person, because this person brings negativity, mm-hmm. where I cannot be around this person. And sometimes they know they, they don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Keep on doing. You, call, yeah. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, True. I, um, we all have friends that maybe we go on a trip with. I, I'll tell you something. I went on a girlfriend trip when I before I moved back to Atlanta. Right. And I knew that my girlfriend that I had been friends with years. You know, the ones that you know for years that have seen your growth, you have a different relationship with the other ones, like uh-huh. the ones that they work with, whatever. I could tell that there was a different vibe. Mm-hmm. So when we booked our trip, I booked in a total hotel. I don't do clicks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, it was the one thing we were doing a girlfriend's trip, and I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. But throughout the trip, like when we decide, hey, you know, I'm going to do a spa mm-hmm. day or whatever, and yeah. we're going to go to this event. And... It was some kind of event. I think there was going to be a comedy show, whatever. So I held the seats. Them women. Young ladies. <laughs> them women. I had to catch okay. myself. Mm-hmm. Remember, this is the podcast. <laughs> them, them chicks. Wow. Chicken heads. Okay. Did not come. And I remember my girlfriend was so embarrassed. And it was because I had, and so I had some something else because I was flying out the next day. I mm-hmm. said, look, I held the seats. They didn't come. I have to go see a friend. You know, I'm in town. You know, I want to make sure that I'm in town and I see them. Then, you know, mm-hmm. on my exactly. one, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you're visiting, you want to see the people yes. you want to see. And um, when we got back, she had to apologize to me. She said, Nicole, you told me that they didn't really. I, you, you can tell what people like you. Yeah. You can tell what people don't. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. It's, it's a vibe. Yes. You know, it's yeah. a vibe. But the thing is, she realized, because she went on another trip, I think, with football, I said, I'm not going in again because I can't do deal right, with negativity. Right, right, right. I can pick up if somebody has a negative, oh, they have yes, an issue, and I didn't do anything. Right. And it wasn't about, you know, being bougie or whatever. It was just that I didn't do clicks. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I think there's a certain way that you carry yourself yeah, when you're right. with a group yes, of women, you yes. know, where it's two or three, yes. because men always make that presumption. Oh, oh okay, yes. there's a group of women, right. you know, if they're, they're like, and same. I'm like, I don't right. entertain that. You mm-hmm. know, I, I don't have no problem being by myself. I go to dinner, go to movies, I right. travel by myself. It's yes. not. So when you go with a group of women, mm-hmm. you got to look at how that group is acting because uh, guess what? True. Other people are watching. They're watching. You know what yep. I'm saying? How yes, you carry yourself. Right. And then you back away. Yeah, they were all professional women, mm-hmm. all educated, but that and. vibe was, ne- there was a negative mm-hmm. vibe and what they came for. I came for the girlfriend weekend. I think it was a Steve Harvey weekend for the events. Mm-hmm. I wasn't looking to pick up nobody. Right, I was looking, you know what I'm saying? Right, I just right. came. I was I was glad to be back in Atlanta. I saw time. how Atlanta had grown, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I said, mm-hmm. we can do a trip, but we cannot do it with them. Right. Now, I have another girlfriend, did the same thing, mm-hmm. did a Girlfriends weekend in Jacksonville, we went shopping, we had lunch, no issues. See. Some were married, some were divorced, yes. but we all were respect of yes. one another. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Different people bring different things and You're depending right. on where mm-hmm. they are. Some people get jealous of your light. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking True. at. That's True. What I'm saying. True. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you not you not putting them down. It's just that I'm not dependent. Like if if you and I all go, let's say we go What's a good place? Let's say we go to Paris. Okay. Maybe you've been to Paris and I haven't been. Mm-hmm. And I can say, well, I want to go to the Eiffel Tower and I yes. want to go see this. And you can say, well, girl, I've already been there. I don't need to. You know, okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? Right, we're going right. to get, but I'll know, hey, we're leaving the hotel at this time. Exactly. We're checking in. Uh-huh. Everybody's safe. Everybody's okay. I don't need to be with you everywhere. Exactly. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. I understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have, it says when you get to a certain age. And mm-hmm. my, I remember my girlfriend saying, it's something about when you turn 50. Your tolerance level gets 
way different. <laughs> Not my circus, not my monkey, right. not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Love you. Don't call me for bail money. Oh. Like, you know, right, right. Don't, put, don't put yourself in that situation. Okay. Like if I see you and I say, I say, hey, I have a concern. I've addressed it. Hey, if you need a place to stay, I'm here for you. Get yourself together. Mm-hmm. You don't want to take that advice. That is on you. That's right. It. Yeah. Because I look at it this way. When I was going through what I was going through, I did get some support. Yes, and you know what I'm saying? And I want to give it back. Yes. But I can't force you to take yeah, that help. Mm-hmm. I can't force you. Now... My girlfriend, those girlfriends that she had that went on a trip that she, she don't even talk to them anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't see what I saw because, you know, sometimes you can see things in people mm-hmm. that a person doesn't see. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's, and, and it's the but time. you already grew over that. You grew over you know. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was good. I was like, hey, it didn't bother me. I was right. like, they the one who lost out. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I, I, why would I be jealous? I want my girlfriend to have other yeah, friends. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? But because of the history. I mean, right. she knew me before. Well, she knew when I was married before I had kids and, you know, when you're growing. Right. Now, people who don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's like more of a sisterhood. Mm-hmm. But some people are like, oh, well, she's only my friend. You know what I'm saying? It's right. that. They no, they grown. do that. Right. You know they what I'm saying? And you got to understand, you have different friends for different yeah. things. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I have a girlfriend from, I call it, uh, before I br- we had wearing bras. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, training bras. Right, you right, know what I'm right. saying? That I grew up in, yeah. in middle school, you know? Yeah. And then I have friends that I have met along with. They're different relationship. Yes. And I have a prayer partner friend. And I have yes. a church friend. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh-huh. different women. You know. And I have women who've never been divorced. Right. I have women who, yeah, you know you what I'm saying? I have, I have a girlfriend who says that she'll never have kids, has never been married. And she's happy. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's and you have to respect the person where they are. Yes. Now, if you see something, you you know, what is it? TSA say? You see something, say something. But some people are not ready for you to, even mm-hmm. if you see it. And what you got to do is you got to pray for it. And depending on how your deliverance. You're right. You know you're what I'm saying? So right, right, depending, right, you know, right. it's not that people... I don't think people have don't want God in their life. I think it's how it's been pushed or how it's been portrayed. Right. And, those and they, they show love. They, they you show love. And you have to it. say, look, I know maybe this may have happened. Mm-hmm. And I've had to apologize. I say, you know, maybe somebody hurt you in the mm-hmm. church and they were wrong and they should yeah. apologize. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they did to you, that's but exactly. I'm sorry. But know that God loves you. That's and right. that's all I can do. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And I also had to learn. It's not always for me to fix it. Because here's another thing where a lot of our church folks, are, we think we're here supposed to fix everybody that's broken, and right. that is not but our job. That's when they are doing it. See, you keep, I keep hearing that. Mm-hmm. If you just live the life, mm-hmm. it's like a light. I just gave mm-hmm. the analogy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When that light walk in that room, if you are letting the Spirit lead you, right. He proceeds. Yes. And, and he he's opens up a ways. Yeah. And that's how the anointing witness to people. I see, like I said, so many people try to witness because they know it. And, I'm, and I see it. My friend, and she's still my friend. I love her. One day she came, and we was all riding because she was my client as well. Uh-huh. We walked through the store. Now, here, I look like I would have just been in the store. Oh, and you did this and this. And they knew I was a pastor. So I walked in, and they said, oh, I heard over there. And, uh, and you know what? Uh, John, first John, and he's eager. And, this, this, this. and it was all out of flesh because she knew how to quote it. That's why I say, and I'm yeah, looking at her. And then the other came in and started quoting. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I had, I, that's exactly what I said. Oh, my God. And I walked on around the store mm-hmm. when I came back. And I had to finally speak and say, it's not all, all so much about the scriptures. Mm-mm. I said, but it's about your love. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, she was like a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. That's okay. not God, and God is a God of love, and I have to tell people that if you bang it and you're mm-hmm. you're you're quoting, you know, and that's pushing people hurt, mm-hmm. people are like, wait a minute, right? You know, does He love me? I'm broken. I'm imperfect. Mm-hmm. Yes, He does. Yes, you right. know, and you have to tell people, I've been there. Yes, you right. know, and you know, if, if nothing else, you say. You know, pre-COVID now, I don't know how we doing with hugs now. Now, you know, like, right. before, like, you know what I'm saying? You can, like, because sometimes people just need that hug to know yeah. that it's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to survive this. And when you look back, you'll see how far God has brought you right. from. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then you'll be able to, the same way I'm encouraging you, yes. you'll be able to yes. encourage Curse somebody else, else, you know, yeah. and talking about it. Like, right. you know, growing up, uh, again, this thing of, we're not going to talk about it. Or mm-hmm. like, he, um, I hate the body we talk about. I'm not going to just disclose the man code. Yeah, you don't but, talk you know, about we got women code too. And you were talking about, you know, you know, 
<laughs> and he's, he's gonna have to let us know when we over there too. Oh, it's long. Oh, we've been, <laughs> we've been over it. Oh, oh really? He's he, he working on three. He shut it down. He been shut it down. He been shut it down. He been shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah, I was like, he I turned it on, shut it down again. Over and over again. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, because I was like, I don't see the timer anymore. Yeah, it's like, been, been at zero. It's been at zero. Like, over six minutes ago. Right, right. Yeah, but you hit something just a second ago, and when I get quiet, I'm trying to think about it. Bring it back out again. Okay. Bring it back up again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since you're a man now, you you made this a question and you threw it at us. Uh -oh. But I'm like, now I'm gonna throw it back over to you and oh, see man. how fast you can catch it. Uh uh. Now when a man tell you this, uh, if you love me, suppose I do fall again. Now see, understand. My son said this, and I said, I listen. You know, I told you I, most of the time now, ninety nine percent, I listen to my son over there. Then I listen to my other son one hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> But no, you just said something. This young man said, if you say you love me, you love me through anything. But he came back with, but if I do fall back into this, will you love me? No, no. Uh-uh. You said it just three minutes ago. I want to see you elaborate. Oh, I can this. easily answer that one. No, okay. but okay, say it though. Really simple. But if you... it's something I did not commit to, I didn't want to say it, but I wanted you to say, if I love him, mm -hmm. The, the the what is the eros part of, will mm. always love no that's not it the agape the part of always love yeah, yeah the agape part but I don't have to take, take that. that of yeah. course because I didn't commit to it of course mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying right I'm gonna forgive you in spite of because it's the agape love gonna love and mm -hmm. I'm gonna forgive you and go on on mm -hmm. so that still don't mean I don't love you right but I didn't mm -hmm. commit to it because you told me you would never go back into it and now you did it. And you are uh, under no obligation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear from you. See, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Not that I, I'll never stop loving you, but I can't commit to that. And nor, nor, nor do you want to enable that behavior and think of it, that's okay. Thank you. Oh, that's it. that's it. Or just like you People said earlier, all the, time. the one hit was enough. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There and the go. fact that you're you dead. Right yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And that's the part of tell me apart because I did commit to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. And the fact that you still remember, you said you heard your dad and you still had that strength. A lot he, of people. He put nothing but fortified strength in me. Mm -hmm. And five years, or I think six years old, I always remember because mm -hmm. right after that, he died. Mm -hmm. He passed away, yeah, because I was at the end of the bed. He was over there. We was all getting ready for church. And I remember I see it every time I'm thinking about him. And he was sitting there and said, uh, Sally, <laughs> that's my mama's mm -hmm. name. And I'm sitting at the end of the bed just having a ball watching it. All of a sudden, I saw him kind of like move in a chair. Mm -hmm. And he said, Sally! And that made me look more at him. And the next thing I know, I saw, you know how you're having a heart attack or whatever mm -hmm. that was. And Sally, and when her mama come in there crying and all that, because he went out. Mm. And I'm looking at it. Everybody swear I didn't see it. But when they saw it, they said she had to. She gave it verbatim everything. How, you know, they, they thought they saw after that. I said, I'm telling you, I was watching my dad. Mm -hmm. mm. Love. <laughs> but, I, you know, it's, if you love and admire somebody, you always watch them. And that's what mm. I was telling you about Shamar. I just, and then I, not that I care about him. But no, it, it just, <laughs> see, he just went, no. But see, when I watch a person, because I want to see, are you all that mm -hmm. that you're portraying? But when I saw. But nobody's he's all, all that. that. in a bag of chips. Nobody's all that. No, I'm not talking and about that. It's some planting on top. But no, he loves his, his, he loves his mother. Mm -hmm. And then when he almost cried, well, I think he did cry on TV when he was out right after she passed. Okay. But at night, sitting in that Stella voice, and we had just, you know, did some thing with her, him and Elise, you know, the one that played uh, Preacher's Wife or whatever uh -huh. it was. Okay, okay. Yeah, because that's how we was interviewing. Okay. But he came down and became, like, common with us. We was all on the floor talking to everybody. We just talked, 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 and all that, because he didn't even go on by, by himself. He just stayed with us. Just like Pastor LaBelle. Okay. Monique. Okay. And maybe that was just a gift he gave. But everybody who came and we had to test, test not testify, interview, they just became, and people had to say, come on, you guys want to do it. But see, that was that love, I guess they felt. Felt, yeah. Yeah, but. Um, and they know it wasn't that pretense, yeah, you know. It. And, I, and I just admire him. I just, every time I see him, I just admire him. But now, when I look at SWAT, I just love SWAT. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> I love SWAT. Yeah, he do be having his shirt off a lot. Yeah. <laughs> see, it, I don't look at him like that now. No, I just look at his suaveness. And even the young lady uh -huh. he plays as a relationship person, he, is he, he plays his heart. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Watch it. That's his real heart. heart. And I just said, 
Why are you over there laughing? He just, well, he must be Funny looking. Enough. No, he's not. Hey, Al, I'm not going to say he's not good looking. I don't know. Because if I put myself to that way, what did the word of God say? And you know the did word, you, brother. When you look on a man to see him, if you lust after him, you might well just go and get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why I try to keep this yeah. off. You yeah. know? So I'll just look, you know. And I'm not going to not compliment you. No, yes, no. he's a good looking man. But I don't believe I can love him. That's the point of it. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm. If I put my mind in that position, position. I can lust out it, but mm -hmm. I don't want it. That's it. Look at how just laughing up. That is funny. I, I, I mean, it, it is what it is. Okay, but no. So anyway, I know everybody, they still on? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We're just not seeing it. I don't we're know. We're just not seeing it. Yeah, I didn't know if they had any questions. You all, they... we thank you. Yes. yes Peace and blessings. Fact, thank yes. you. In fact, I told them what we're trying to do now, and maybe you all can help us out there, too. Give your email. Your email. Brother already got his email for where he's work, work isn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay. But no, we're looking for a nice building. Okay. You know how the platform where you have, like, an audience and everything? Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Good. That's what we want now. Okay. And we're going to have, so you can just come on in and you be at the audience, you can raise your hand. I got a question. Oh, that would be something. awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do it live. He, hey, the producer, he's going to okay. come on. <laughs> we're okay. going to bring him on. And so sometimes we'll be intimate in our podcast and sometimes okay. we're going to be oh. uh, out there. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, and, I'm hey, gonna we might bring uh, Shamar Mo too. Uh -huh. We're going to bring some people now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he gonna be yeah, the first right. guest. Right, right, right. All right, now. Shamar Moore, please come. Okay, now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull him and say, okay, SWAT, come on. Okay, but something else. I need to ask you a question, and now I want somebody to chime on. What do y'all feel about the situation? You might turn it back on. I'm gonna see what they. No, no. Right, we, we're gonna maybe we have to bring in some too, and then like I tell you, when I'm not here, y'all. Get in, because okay. people are looking for this. Okay. But I know, what is what do y'all think about the situation where Miss Fanny Williams, a new DA, doesn't want to prosecute the young man that uh, shot the guy in the back with the taste? You know, I thought she was, shot. I thought the judge had her recused. She recused, so she yes. recused herself. So what do y'all right. think about that? Is that due to um, the lawsuit? Didn't he have to request his job back because they're saying they didn't go through the yeah, procedure? But, but there's a reason behind that. Why, why do you think she doesn't want to prosecute him? I think, think somebody. I, I, I think it's a racist type situation, and probably she's being paid. On, something is happening that we're not aware of. I think it's a procedure. I think, I think this has to be procedure because they were saying that he got terminated. They didn't go through procedure, unfairly, and that you and unfairly, and maybe and, and maybe she feels that that's going to taint her the case. So you got to remember, a lot of prosecutors they want to win. So if there's any, you are so right. No matter what she have to go through to do it, right. if she has to remove herself and put another prosecutor in to get a conviction. Right. That's what he, we have to so do. So you think she does want to prosecute? I mean, yeah, a she just she has to remove herself and just get another one in. And they and might use a white prosecutor. You never know. Oh God, what do you think about that? Do you think he's going to get right? Who knows? I don't know. It's, who knows? It's the luck of a draw. We could we but could. We don't throw it's, not, it's not. It's not just that. You got to look who's going to be on a jury pool. How many well, registered voters true. are going to be? Yeah. What right. is your jury pool going to look You're like? So right. right. Think about it. Is, is it Remember, Atlanta, uh, Fulton County goes all the way up to almost Marietta and goes You're past right. down. It past sure Clinton. does. You know what I'm saying? Where are they going to have the Fulton goes to Alpharetta. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So who's going to be in your jury pool? That's right. what you got to look at. But do you all I think he murdered that guy? I don't know. Now, yes, you do. <laughs> what did you I, see I, happen? I, no, so I'm not even familiar with the case. Honestly, I don't watch TV. But you so, know, you hear enough about it. I, I hear here and there, but I don't have the full. I don't know. You don't think day. he has a taser? Who you think will do the much the most harm? A taser or a gun? Well, of course, the gun. <laughs> well, it depends. Here's the thing: if a person has a heart condition, oh, the taser could cause yeah, a heart attack. Yeah, but it how close but was he was running? He was close. running, and the fact that he got shot. In the back. In the back, right. 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 That's what I'm right. Talking about. And they said supposedly he was fighting with them and they but didn't know if he was going away. back to go. He was running away, but they didn't know if he was he running to he his was car. Running. He, was, he running. was running, but no, was the he car was right there with his okay. girlfriend. With, okay. So again the, the scenario is like what was he running towards? Was he running to no, get he wasn't. You know, he was well, trying well, to get away. He was trying to get yeah. away and how it was handled. I mean, we have a lot of cases, unfortunately. A that, lot of cases like where that. Where people are getting shot in the back. Yeah, that's what we're trying to I mean, look at the case in North Carolina where the yes. guy was in the car and they said, well, he was trying to use his vehicle as a weapon. And we know, I saw the car come this way and then they start shooting. But it, it seems like that only happens to 
black like people of color, color. right black because i watched a video where a guy was in the car and two cops came up they had yes. their did you watch it mm -hmm. they had their, their their guns out and then gone. he was like this is this you know they're trying to open the door uh, and he had his gun Unlike the military officer that they spray, oh, yeah. pepper spray, exactly. and, 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 and you know, yeah. like you know, and the guy ended up driving away. When I was watching this, my mouth, I was shocked. <laughs> like, how is this happening? Because yeah, he, how is this happening? But it's that anger in white people. I'm sorry. I mean, and I love you, you all, because I got a part of you in me. <laughs> but the point of it is just, it's about justice. And see, that's what I'm understanding is that anything. And look, wait a minute. Did you all see something? That I had to bring it up. The two little children, 12 year old and 14. Oh, yeah, that not, broke no, into no. the house. And here's the thing I want to look at that group home. Because do you know that group home has had 250, I believe, 250 incidents where law enforcement were called? Mm. So, what is going on in that group home? That's but A. I'm looking at two white kids. Don't you know if it had been two black kids, they would have been tore all but, up with them guns? Yeah, right. but, 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 <laughs> here, but here's the other thing they broke into a home. That they didn't know had guns, but they found them. Yes. So again, the owner should have had them guns locked up, and they should again. I, I believe everybody has the right to bear arms. Yes. I'm prior military. Right. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing: what if they had accidentally shot each other? Then the parents would have. No, 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 kids are living no, no, no. What, no. what I'm saying is, what if would then yeah, they I turn around and sue yeah. the homeowner because oh, number yeah, one, well, yeah. they left the group home, and then because people sue for the most. Yeah. Anything. It, it, anything nowadays. <laughs> right. But the fact that the you hear the video where the cop doesn't want to shoot the yeah, you girl. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that but he shot like Yeah, kids. Yeah, but he shot her. But I think the boy has diabetes. But the fact that these children were wanting to do a video game mm -hmm. and were in a shootout with police and they don't realize these, these are real bullets. You don't take bullets back. Them kids knew that. But I'm just looking at I'm just they come the out environment of that we're Even though they were shot in the arm, it, it was did just damage one, it was because you were so young. Yeah. yeah. Because but still, could... don't you know, good well, it was just, they had assault two black kids coming out there with some guns, they would have mowed them down. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but they would have. They said look at the little guy that had a little toy gun and they shot him. And they, they said they shot him eight times. Did they say did they intentionally shot them in the arm or shot him in the arm? I'm glad you brought that up, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't because know. Because they always preach. They sh they sh uh, fire at uh, center mass. So yeah, because that's the training. You, that, no, 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 that, what, what, that, that is no, no, but, but, yeah, but, but that's the training. But that's getting off my question. My question isn't about the training. My question is, did they intentionally shoot? To, I think they did because they were children. Right. So yeah. then that means you are exact that you can do it. All yeah, right. but again, See, but the training is no, no, no. But you now yeah, it's yeah. contradicting wow. itself. What yeah, but the training is. I like you said, to 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 disable them or more. No, 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 because no. dead bodies don't talk. <laughs> dead bodies, I mean, they don't talk. Dead men tell no tales. They don't what? tell no. Dead men don't tell no tales. But what I'm telling you, maybe because they were children. But you still, it's 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 contradicting the the whole argument then, because if the argument is. We are trained to shoot center mass body, which oh, means the chest or the head. Uh -huh. And then you're saying that these guys purposely shot them in the arm. And I'm Thank not saying you. that they yeah, did or not. Then, Hold on, let me finish because yeah. we don't know the question just yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that they purposely shot them in the arm. You are saying, officer, that essentially you can do it. Yes. It could be done, but here's the thing. Was it because the perpetrators were children? It but but then, but white, then, white, then, white, then white. make... No, no, was it... You're saying that you but don't then, think they would have shot him in the okay, arm if they, they were. But then kids, make get shot in their chest. What about Tariq? Little, uh, what's my man? Uh, the little twelve-year-old that was playing outside with the toy That's gun. What I'm talking about. Who right. the c officer wasn't out the car less than 10, 12 mm -hmm. seconds, he, and he, sh he shot and killed them. Uh -huh. So what we're saying is, if you are saying that if you are a child, you can aim for the arm and hit it. As an adult, yes. you can do the and exact the same thing. You, you get shot, you're going down. Like but that. then, right. but don't get on camera and say, "Well, we are trained to shoot for center mass." But then you're telling me, "But I can." Mm -hmm. Depending, mm -hmm. then, on, then what right. you're saying isn't true. It contradicts itself. Right. There you go. And that's what I was looking at. Because a lot of the dead black men and women uh, 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 that died as a result of could have could still be here yes. simply for a bullet wound to the muscle, yes. you know, to to the arm. Look at the but then you got, then you got the thing is they turn around and sue. So again, if but the person is dead, about, but they well, did. well, what would you prefer, suing or the life? Darn your, darn the, darn the, 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 the money that's held up for police. Life is more important. Mm -hmm. But again, 
training and like you said, is it because they were children? No, I, I, I didn't say that. Okay. I said you're saying, not you, they're okay. saying that they, they are to trained shoot. to shoot for body mass. Yeah. But they in this particular of- case, they shot a child in the arm because they knew since it was a child, let's shoot him, in, him her in the arm. Mm-hmm. That means you can do that. You have the training to do that. But then they say. But when the color is different, when it's more melanin in the skin, yes. let's shoot, aim for body mass. Well, I'm going to ask the question why didn't they send the dogs out? Because normally when kids are acting up or oh, people are, yeah. yeah, there was no police. Well, dogs just just, just, just a, a, a situation just happened recently. Well, I, the, at least the video was released where the police officer let the dog off go on the man. Dog had the guy on the ground, you know. Doing all what dogs do to people, mm-hmm. and then the officer went up and kicked him about twelve times. The man? Yeah, the cop went and shot. Yeah, I mean not shot, but kicked. Kick. And so he got like six years or something in prison. Oh, but what, oh, what we're saying is, the, if you're the, down, the that don't even dead. matter. Wait a minute, the yeah. cop getting six years. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, he be, was already down, down by the dog. So what? Why did? Well, he George kick Floyd him? was down by the not just. Just, not just down, but handcuffed yes. on his yeah, stomach. But, but here's the other thing with George Ford, and people forget that firefighter that was off duty who tried to render aid. She was white, and she was saying, oh, yes. "Check his pulse." Mm-hmm. And when she testified, she said, "I am a firefighter, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you that you're causing." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, they I mean, and she she even explained that, hey, I could tell where he had the knee position. There you go. And I you saw know what I'm saying? That she, was opposed, and she was uh-huh. she was and you know she kept on saying. You know, take your. Nobody wanted to listen because even the Asian officer, he was just look. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm doing cr- mm-hmm. crowd, control. crowd control. I don't want to look back, so I'm not. I don't want to engage because what would have happened and said, "Hey, you need to take your knee off." Why didn't? It, and everybody's yeah, that's going. All with, he had to say. But but here's the thing. Everybody's going. Well, he's the more senior officer. That doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, it's right. You know it. what I'm saying? Just because you're senior, it's just like people in the military. Yeah. You can have a commander, and they still could be doing something wrong. Just, well, he's you not know, breathing, y'all. Take your knee. Take your knee. But you know what I'm saying? Again, on how, how we treat, and uh, another thing that has come up since George Floyd has died, they say he might not he even have known that that bill was a fake. Regardless, That's what I thought. should I die for count yes. fit 20? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Should but I die for but, it? But, yeah, knowing but, or not knowing. The force yeah. was too excessive. <laughs> the force I mean, was excessive on, in the fact, the communication, in the fact that, okay, this is the only way that I see, because would it have been done, like you said, you saw where, you know, a white person was in a car and they were allowed to drive off or they were allowed to talk back or be disrespectful. Here's the other thing. We have to learn our rights. But that's the first amendment right too. Yeah. You know, yeah, but why the, are you detaining me? But the rights do not apply to us. They they oh, just they, yes, they, 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 they don't. They they are written <laughs> But they don't apply simply because (laughs) that when the Constitution says uh, that every man is uh, created equal during that time, black people weren't even created or considered equal. So it doesn't apply to us. And then their mind is still there. So we throw three fourths a human or however they considered us. How can you be equal at three fourths? So that law pertain not to us. us. So whatever is written after that by law enforcement and how it all trickles Mm -hmm. down. It don't apply to us. The law works according to the way the law was written mm-hmm. to uh, 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 protect those that it's supposed to protect. Yes. And it didn't consider us at and all. And that's literally what I believe it was in Chavez Chavez's mind. It was oh, he was just a his, racist. He was just fist. You see it in his eyes. It I'm was like, clear. Even at the court, he just felt he had made it. You remember how the, like normal uh, officers before had yeah. gotten on, and the thing is to say, well, I was intimidated by a sight, but he was complying. Here's the thing: you had a person that you took him into custody. He he wasn't fighting back. He wasn't not resisting. They were, even though he was what it what was at least not after this the fifth minute. You know what I'm saying? How <laughs> yeah, many yeah, minutes yeah, do you yeah, need? But, yeah. you know what I'm <laughs> and he wasn't belligerent. He was no. just you know he was just saying you know. And you know, he's trying he to explain this in that situation. car because cost his knees. He kept saying, I, uh-uh, I can't hardly breathe. And I'm like, the hands back in the back. Right. Yeah, That's in the all. position. But you it, know what it all boils down to they, they don't care. Yeah, it's they almost really like don't. it's. I can't even say it's almost like they Michael do Jackson not Michael Jackson said, all I want to say is that they don't really care, care about, about right. us. Right. They, really they do don't. not see us as human, human beings. Oh, and let me go ahead and let them know yeah. about this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. Hey, this is mine, though. Uh-uh. She gave me this. But no. I want you all to help these little college kids. I was there at taking my daughter to pick up a phone. This is 100% shea butter and something else. I oh, And please, Jordan, forgive me. I can't remember, but I'm going to lather with this. 
Because I want me to be so pretty and so soft for my man. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. Come on. <laughs> Hello. But no, it's, you pay it's the truth. dollars that's worth about 70 I know this. Okay. But you come with uh, all this. I'm just going to put it out. And then this beautiful bag. Because I love it's, I thought it was a birch, a birch, what is that? Look, birch bag? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then he said, no, no. He's, but they give you this, this, and, oh, two more. Okay. I didn't yeah. even look. This, and then eyelashes, ladies. Eyelashes. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, about $150 worth of things, but most of all, you get this, because I love lather. Just, you know, <laughs> get in a bath or either get in the shower. But make sure you all contact. Can I give him your email? And then I'm gonna give you Jordan's, cause Jordan, he's like, it seemed, I think it was like 20 and 21, but they are college students. Mm -hmm. And then you can help, cause I'm them to pay you to brand them and let them, you know, help them get out there. But all of what this, is? you can't beat it. You really cannot beat it. What? And I'm gonna help them. And listen, mm -hmm. and, and they were talking. Are you from New York? I said, Oh, I pray to God I was. <laughs> <laughs> but no, literally, help, let's help the young people. Seriously, yes. I I love to help young people. And I'm going to make sure I put them out there. I'm a, and she's going to brand them. <laughs> but, yeah, and you get the beautiful little bag. Because I love walking around New York City just shopping with my little shopping okay, bags right. and so stuff. So what are we doing? So so we no, tell people. No, what it is, tell uh, you all make sure when she go ahead and bring Jordan on, if possible, you all go ahead and help them. You just pay $25, but you get all of these items. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. okay. And these, I'm not going to tell you, they're good quality. That's what I was looking at. And I'm going to help, I mean, really ask you, and then I'll pay you to help brand them, put them out there. But I'm going to take this, and I'm going to get in the bathtub with hot water and just lather myself. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Y'all yeah. heard it. <laughs> A repairer of the breeze. Oh, get, come get lathered. Okay. <laughs> But no, let's help Silky one of them. Silky smooth. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. Okay. For $25. <laughs> yeah. There you, see, there you go. But anyway, you know what? We thank God for my sister. I thank you, Father, for letting me meet her. Thank, thank you, you, Lord. Jesus. And my son. Yeah. How long have I known you? About 30 years. Have you? Oh, no. I can't tell on that because I forgot. He said, don't you ever. I, I told you him I always thought he was like 25. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but no. You mean 1980? No, but I, I love, you know, I love the camaraderie between everyone because yeah. we're sisters and brothers. Yeah, and I call yeah. them all sons. You know how that yes. is. But again, we thank God again for everybody coming in with us. Oh, God, I thank you. This is so fun. Yes. Love. Yes. Oh, my God, we forgot so we're love. being recorded. <laughs> I mean, but this is honest conversation. Yes. I mean, yes. and I think it's, it's, it's great needed. when the conversation just flows. It wasn't mm -hmm. scripted. Yeah. Right. We were just sharing and I believe our testimonies of right, what we've right. been through and to encourage and to share resources right, and information right. and just hopefully someone got blessed. At least hopefully, one person, you know what I'm saying? Amen. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then yeah. share and then maybe it'll open the dialogue for people to have yes. open Real conversations. Real conversations. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But I got to thank you so much for allowing me to come more. Oh, life wow. coach, if you need a life coach, could, could you please give your email? So right. I'm going to give my, my Instagram. Okay. I'm nsaintseer at seeds to success on Instagram. So please DM me. Spell it. Um, <laughs> N as in Nicole and then Saint Seer, S-A-I-N-T-C-Y-R and it's seeds to success. I'm the only one that has seeds oh, to wow. success in my Instagram account. So, so what is your Instagram actually? It's nsaintseer, seeds to success. That long? Okay, yeah, girl. I ain't yeah. saying nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> I told you, mine is speaking in tongue. Now I don't even know what I put on there. I don't know how to word it. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I said, where did yeah. that come from? These people with the long handles. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to work on some more handles and maybe you can help me with that. Brand you know, the me brand me success coach. Hello. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Where two or three come together. Amen. Hey, in fact, Ooh. that's what I want to Because before we end, because okay. we always end. And before our Father, we're going to let them, these beautiful young ladies, pray that God's success be in everybody's life that got a chance to be blessed today. Because I know you are blessed. Yes. I've been blessed, and I'm in the midst of it. Okay? Amen. So who wants to lead us in prayer? And if, if God leads you, one pray, and then one take it up, we're going to pray because God's okay. getting ready to do some great and mighty things. I'm telling you. Literally mm -hmm. great. And I was sitting there, and I understand what Bishop Jake was, was talking about. He was talking, and certain things I, I, I don't listen to, and sometimes I do, but I know he's saying in this last day, and I know God just took over, and I, I, I was sitting in the highway, and let me tell you the, uh, this little short testimony, the reason I was late. Uh, my son had 
put his car in the, in the shop. Mm -hmm. And so he let me took off, and I was on my way here to get here at 6 o'clock. And all of a sudden, uh, Mama, the car stopped in the middle of the highway. Oh, wow. And I, wow. And I said, you just got it out the shop. He said, Mama, my car's in the middle of the highway. Oh, I can see no. him saying, I ain't standing about what you did. I'm here in the middle of the highway. But I said, I said I'm on my way, and you remember I called you. Right. But how God is doing some things, y'all, and mm. and. That's all I can mm -hmm. say. Pray for Paul Howard because God's going to take him up again, mm -hmm. give him another chance. Right. But, I mean, I went in there, and I guess God, when I said, speak. When God tell you to speak mm -hmm. something, speak, speak it. it. Mm -hmm. Sir, speak it. And he's going to make himself known. It was pouring down rain. And God says, speak. And you would heard me say these testimonies yeah. so many. He says, speak to the weather, and I'm going to stop it. Wow. And you know how sometimes you hear a voice, mm -hmm. like, oh, God, you said it. But I hear it, God. And I'm like, God. I'm going to obey your, your word. word. Right. Remember I read that scripture mm -hmm. the other day. He said, I gave you, I have first authority over heaven and, and earth. earth. Now you go and do the same thing because you have my power behind you. And do you not know it stopped? Mm -hmm. And I said, mm. you know how sometimes that flash? Oh, right, yeah, right. Like, oh, you like, you like, wait a minute. Where are you going to go? go <laughs> like, Ooh, let me be careful. Let me Ooh, be careful what I say. That was you know quick. Too. That was quick. Was God. God. Yeah, it was God. Like, Nothing but God. But I sit there, and you remember right here at uh, Lakewood Freeway when you come around that curve from Camelton Road? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and my son was yeah, right in the middle of the road. And I said, God, now, he, Mama, how are we going to do this? Do we need to call the tow? And he had start calling. I said, no. <laughs> you know how that is. Mm -hmm. But do you not know God stopped traffic or however he did it? Because, you know, you're in the middle of the highway. Highway, yes. Right. Do you not know? I took that BMW, and I said that, and I went up, and I said, y'all, stop. <laughs> I'm coming back too. Right. And do you not go God is just awesome, you all. Yes. He is. I yes. just he is. He's a way maker. Yeah. But God is ready to use y'all vessels. Yes. Mm. I'm telling you. Yes. And when he spoke, it almost took my breath when he was sitting there talking and saying what he's getting ready to do because he said, You all don't trust me for what who I am. Mm. Amen. And Amen. What I do. Amen. Right? And I've given you that same identical yes. power. So that's why we get ready to let the world know we are children of the most high God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay? But yes. one of you all leads us and the other one, whatever God give you, because that's what the Holy Ghost will start doing when we wow. go places. He's going to make himself known through us. You want to well, start? Sure us? Okay. Well, Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this opportunity that we've been gathered together in yes. faith to help and to share and to encourage one another. You said in Luke 137, for with God, nothing is impossible Amen. and we trust you and we love you and we're so grateful for our experiences that have we've healed from and then Amen. we were able to share our testimony. Right. We give you all the power, the yes. glory, and we this week, tomorrow's Sunday, your yes. day, we pray for everyone that watched, everyone that heard a word and maybe it will be an encouragement, a blessing of some sort. And that you bless this testimony, this ministry, because truly this is a ministry, that each person will be blessed in some form, fashion, and way. And your name will be the most important yes. thing that is shared, that is done out of love and yes. for us to come together to be a blessing. Not Amen. to us as, as uh, women of faith and man of faith, but um, as a community, a loving community, so people could know your word and see you in all that we do. Yes. And to this, we give you praise and glory. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Pray. God has something for you to do. Okay. See, I told you, listen to God. Listen to God. <laughs> Not man, but listen to God. There's a gift in you, and I told you that the other week what it is. Pray for the healing. Of healing, wow. Yeah, it's a healing. Somebody needs some healing. Okay. Father God, in the name of yes, Jesus, yes. we come to you right now. For, first of all, oh, Father God, just cover me right now, Jesus. Yes, cover Father, me right now, you. Father God, as we go in and intercede for whoever it yes. is that is out there that mm. actually is in need of your healing yes. right yes, now, Jesus, Father you. God. Cover yes. them from the crown of their yeah. head to Ooh, the sole yes, of their feet. You, you are mm. the healer. Yes, yes Father. Thank you said that we call on your name in the yes. name of Jesus. Jesus. It is yes. done and it is so, Father yes. God. For yes, those who are losing you. hope right now, Father yes. God, we know that you are there yes. with them. Give yes, them the yes, comfort yes. that they need to yes. know that you are going to bring them through and they will also have that testimony yes, that they desire father god yes. i know what it looks like yes, but yes, it don't father, matter what yeah, it looks like, like because you yeah, are yeah, god yes you Jesus. are Thank god you. you are omnipotent yes, you are father. the alpha and 
the Omega, yes, the yes, beginning Father. and the end. Yes, in Jesus. your name, when we come to you in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Yes. mountains must move. Yes. Yes. Father Thank God, you. infirmities Thank must move. Yes. Father yes. God, Thank we you. come to you right mm. now. Yes. And I know Father, that you're taking care of that situation, yes. whatever yes. it yes. is. Yes. You are breaking up yokes right yes. now yes. in the name Father. of Jesus. Jesus. We Thank set you, forth you. your power, Lord. Father yes. God. Thank and I want them to feel it right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, whatever the ailment is, I know that you've got it. Whether it's kidney disease, Father God, somebody told them a bad report, Father God, you have healed cancer in the name of Jesus. You have raised people from the dead. Lord, when it looked, regardless of what it looked like, regardless of what the report of the doctor says, it is not over until you say it is over. So, Father God, give them the hope, Father God. Have them remember who you are and just to be steady fast yes. within you Father yes. God we yes. come to you right now yes. in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. to yes. break Father, those yokes break yes. those chains yes. so Father. that they could come to you yes. and have that testimony to yes. say yes, yes Father. Yes. I am healed yes. in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. it yes. is done yes. and it is so yes. and we just thank you yes we Father. thank you God thank Amen. you Amen. We praise God. Amen. We praise Amen. God. We praise God. Yes. But it is done. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> praise God. We just we thank, thank you all again for taking your time out. In fact, a long time. Yes. <laughs> Three thank hours. You. But we praise God for this fellowship with you all. Ladies, I want you all to get in touch with these ladies. I'm telling you, these are blessed ladies. I'm not saying you're not blessed either. But we all the blessings get together. Oh my God! And what two or three are gathered, gathered in, in His name? name. Yes. In the midst. Yes. Whatsoever you ask, believe, believe it. It's already, already done. done. Yes. Okay. And when you hear God say it, it's done, because He don't send nothing out that don't return turn back to Him. Boy, it comes and accomplishes just what has been said. Yes. You heal. You heard Amen. her, and you your emotions are healed. Your marriages yes. are healed. And we hear so many Restoration, women. Father yes. God. Restoration yes. right now, regardless of what yes. it looks like, yes. Father God. Somebody's marriage is being restored. Yes, Father. Father God, in so the name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. yes. That's what God just said. You just spoke it on out. Right yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sister. Have a blessed week on purpose, yes. everybody. Oh, Have a right yes. now, on purpose. purpose. On purpose. All right. Thank you. Thank like you I said, so much. Again, thank you. We give you love. Oh, my God. Thank you for your love coming back to us as well. Thank you for your brother yeah. and my brother and your brother that you don't ever see. A yeah. brother from another brother. Okay. <laughs> Love you all until next Peace week. Peace and blessings. Amen. Amen. Find out more about our broadcast, Repair of the Breach, on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Thank you for tuning in.